Okay, the stream should be live on Twitch and YouTube again. Twitch for lower latency, YouTube for better video quality. If you were just here and wondering what the crap happened, YouTube doesn't have a way for me to split streams into chapters, so I have to start a new YouTube stream. So sorry about this or if it's confusing or whatever, but um, hopefully those of you that were at the other one will, will come into this one. I don't know. Twitch has had that feature forever. I wish I wish YouTube would have it. So anyway, we are back to continue our uh, series, I guess, where we're doing every campaign in, well, every faction in alphabetical order, their long campaign victory on Immortal Empire. So Total War Rammer 3, Legendary, Hardest Difficulty campaigns, and we are doing all the alphabetical, alphabetical order. I did skip Dwarves and Empire because those are getting an update in, in uh, April. Hopefully April. That's the last we've heard. It's the last that I've heard. So we started with, wait, what is this? No, we did try the Jade Court at some point. I don't even remember that. Back when they first came out, I guess. Anyway, uh, we started with the Beastmen and we've gone all the way up through the Dark Elves and now we are doing Cathay and I'm gonna use uh, the newest Lord, get my money's worth out of it. We just tried this and I played Summon the very the beginning and learned a few things and now we're gonna try again for reals. Um, if I'm not talking as much or if my voice is off or something or if I'm muting a lot to cough, my apologies. I missed quite a bit of the stream this week from from not feeling well and uh, I've taken medicine, but we've determined that perhaps taking the medicine has made me not play as well either. So we'll see, we'll see. I might end up having to wrap this one up early, but uh, we'll try again. All right. And those of you that were here from the beginning previously, I know it's like, oh, he's reading it again. But like I said, there's no way to divide those up on YouTube. So sorry about that. All right, Yuan, Yuan Bo, is that how it's pronounced, I'm guessing? That's how I've been pronouncing it. Not the Nyquil Dragon Rises, yeah. Too much dust inhalation from Arrakis. That must be it. That must be it. All right, so he starts with Jade Warrior, mainly peasants. We got Great Longma Riders, which are they're kind of like light cav, right? It says flying cav. They're nowhere near the same as like Pegasus or Hippogriff Knights or anything like that. But decent uh, Crowman, which I'm not a big fan of at the moment, and then the Jade Lion. Let's see, for his faction effects, all regions owned by factions that have trade agreements are visible. Diplomatic relations plus 20 with all Grand Cathay. Research rate 5% increase for each province capital. Hero capacity plus 2 for Astromancers. The Lord himself has Winds of Magic Power Reserve capacity plus 25. Upkeep minus 30% on uh, beast units, basically, including the new Celestial Lions that just came out. I really want to try those. Are those, um, I don't know what tier they are. Maybe tier 4, tier 3? They're like a Hippogriff, right? So it's probably tier three. So uh, we start in Lustria. We have a split start with Cathay. We're going to go for the long campaign, though. So as much as I kind of want to do a split campaign, this entire series is about just trying for the long victory. And apparently the long victory is all in Lustria. So we might just sell this and uh, go full force in Lustria. All right. I'm not going to read the lore or anything like that. Uh, we are playing on Legendary. So Immortal Empires on Legendary. And Battle of Difficulty only goes to very hard. So we're using that. And we are doing Long Victory only. That's all we care about. Oh, sorry. Yeah, they're new Flying Lions. I saw the patch notes for them. And I saw the, their graphic. They look pretty cool. I don't know what their stats are exactly, though. So we'll have to check it out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he gets... Um, yeah, I think it says that in here about the... the magic amplification yeah so getting a couple of astro answers will be be really good i'm not gonna watch the cinematic i've watched it a bunch of times all right so paths of injury the jade court it is the jade dragon's duty to increase the celestial emperor's influence in the world by fully harnessing the power of the wujing compass yuan Bo must activate four dormant directions unique to the jade court that point toward distant sites of great power constructing an astromantic relay at each site will empower the compass Greatly strengthen Cathay's dominion and bring Yuan Bo closer to campaign victory. As astromantic relays are constructed, the Jade Dragon must stay prepared for hostilities from those who seek to stop the redirection of the winds of magic. Successfully activating the four dormant directions will lead to the final incursion. So he's going to have a final, like, mission quest battle, I guess, kind of like Tarox. Like, two of the lions, one of them are gone awful at auto resolve. Size them in local. Yeah, the green one. We know the Jade one, yeah. Half their HP. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see the flying one. Okay, so for the long victory, again, we're just doing Immortal Empires Legendary for the long victory. The short victory is to construct two of the astromantic relays for the comp compass. We get three hero capacity for all heroes. And the long campaign is to do 
all of the compass and then do the final incursion. That's what we're going to be working toward. Uh, he has some other... He's a DLC character, so he has some other things that we'll go over as well. Let's see what our... So the Gatekeeper, or Gatemaster, whatever he's called. Gatemaster is a new type of hero that just came out in the most recent patch. Gatemaster of the Celestial This one rolled cities. driven. Extra leadership, immune to psychology. So he has uh, things that buff him and people around him. He gets buff or jade units. And we'll go through their, their skills and whatnot as, as we play. All right, to make sure we get a little bit extra movement, I'm going to move a little bit closer before I embed the hero. And so Yuan Bo has this mechanic, this Matters of State, which is, seems very powerful. I'll read back through these all when we get more. But start with, you start with four tokens, two jade, two stone, or two steel, two stone, sorry. And as you use them, it, they re-load uh, on the other side. So like if you use two steel, they come back as stone on the other side slowly. And if you uh, participate in battles, it comes back faster. So we are going to start out by using one that allows us to recruit I instantly, or lowers it by one, right? So we're going to get two peasant archers. And then I'm going to complete one turn of recruitments. So these savage orcs that we're fighting are just witnessed us, as someone said earlier, just use mitosis. I mean, the orcs are a fungus anyway, right? So they probably are like, oh, the Cathayans are also fungus. Interesting. And then we'll use the other ones after this fight. Let's get in there and, uh, and do our first fight. Flyins, Flyins. So we are against uh, Savage Orcs. They don't have any spell casting. They got two mounted units. We're gonna we're gonna fight the battle. We fought a couple of battles before I um, did the newest stream here, and I learned a little bit about Cathanians. I'm basically gonna have to use Cathay as if they are dwarves with some cav and monsters, honestly. Because they, their front line and their archers need to stay pretty close together to get the harmony benefit. I actually don't know what the battle harmony benefit is. Hang on. I didn't even look when we were playing around with this just a minute ago. Does it show? Battle harmony for Yin. Speed, 8%. Reload, skill, 24. Leadership, plus 8 then 60 meters of Yang. So Yin gets extra ammo, extra speed, or extra reloads, I guess I should say. Speed and leadership. And then what about Yang? Leadership, melee defense, melee attack. Okay. Yeah, so that's actually pretty big. Keep that in there. All right. So we'll go up on the high ground, I guess. I've had people ask me why my UI is so big. It's not because I'm blind. It's because I'm on a 4K screen and it's it's over there. <laughs> so you're like, man, this guy see anything? Anything? Show for the yin yang thing. Uh, yes, yes. So if they are within, it will show the entire circle. Uh, and if they're out, it'll only show the half. But I was looking at what buffs they get from it. The yin yang mechanic is about keeping units close to one another. Yeah, yeah. And then there's some units that uh, amplify the effects. So it makes what the bonuses they get bigger. And then there are some units that count for both as well. You can see it on the icon. I don't know what you mean. I mean, I already looked at the buff in here, but. I mean, I'm hovering over it, so I don't, I don't know. I already looked at it, though, so I don't. I don't know if it matters, but. Spy master. I could be blind today, because I am, again, not feeling too well. You can see when they're active. Yeah, I know you can see when they're active, yeah. yeah. But I don't see it showing the literal what the buff does until I went to the information pane right here. Anyway, uh, either way, let's get started. Uh, 
Uh, let's come group up My on this high ground. The heart of Cathay, ensuring the Celestial Empire stands. So let us finish them quickly. Empire stands. So Are those like big fans of the Empire? <laughs> Empire stands. <laughs> People still use that word. Not sure. All right, so the Jade Lion has a bound skill. Does a little bit of damage. Breath one. He's got two stacks of it. Yeah, I don't, I don't see that. Oh, now that the battle started, it shows it. Interesting. It was not showing the stats hovering over it before in the in the preparation stage. Now it's showing it. I'm guessing because they don't actually have the stats. Yeah, they don't actually have the stats until the battle starts, so that's why. So when you're preparing, it does not show the on the hover. Now it does. Yeah, I got you. Ah, uh, Rusty, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Thank you, Rusty. Thank you for using that here. Thanks for the content. My pleasure. Sorry for the uh, throat stuff during, during today's stream. I'll I'll uh, mute every time I feel like I'm gonna offer. Praise the dragons. Oh, I actually have these not in the order I wanted. I wanted the Jade guys in the center. I need the leader to come out of the woods there. All right, we're going to put all these ones on guard mode so they won't chase. You guys going to come out of the woods? I might have to move up here a little bit for them to come out. <laughs> get close and cough right into the microphone? No. Come on. I want to hit him with some spells to pull them in. Positioning you in such weird ways. Ah, there we go. Okay. That's what I wanted. So he has this heaven spell, Shim's burning gaze, so it's just a uh, magic missiles. He does okay damage. He also has a Jade Shield, damage resistance plus 51% for 11 seconds. Only a four cost. He also has the Execute ability. He can deal up to 730 damage to a Lord of Hero, which is crazy. We can buff into that, and he can also turn into a dragon. Awake. As Dan said, they're in the woods. All right, here they come. We're going to overcast that. Hopefully we don't take any damage from overcasting. Oh, and we did. We miscast. Great. We only miscast because I said hopefully we don't. Wish you could turn into a dragon. That seemed pretty useful. Seems pretty useful. It's not overcast it just in case. this on cooldown. Archers are held in place. You guys switch. Oh, that missed this time. Let's see how low the execute gets them. Pretty friggin' low. I'm gonna get as many kills of this as we can because we want the XP. 
Can't just stay on that. It's fine. Emperor's execution. Day right moving. Okay, puppy, you stay there. His breath ability is back up. Yeah, I guess that guy killed. Uh, guess we can try to get a few kills out of the breath. But yeah, we want as many kills as possible because we want the extra XP. Okay, he's dead. dead. Don't think, yeah, those, those are not gonna catch that. I don't think so. We can't, uh, you can't turn into the dragon if the outcome of the battle is already determined. <laughs> Makes sense. But all right, we'll speed this up. Kills you XP. That's how it works. Yeah, yeah. So the more kills you get, they they actually changed it with. Uh, it's been changed for quite a while now. You see, it was the type of victory you got, but now it's based on um, the XP that you get and the loot, the money or whatever, is based on the amount of kills that you get. In settlement battles and things like that, you're going to get 100% anyway. But in field battles like this, you only get as many kills as you can. Well, how was it when you last played? Yeah. yeah. How much you missed? We just started, yeah just started this one literally the first battle so pretty decent we got a little bit of damage on one of our uh units there but fine Okay, uh, I think I'm going to do an extra battle, so we're going to do a replenishment. Probably should have just taken the money, but... We got Trickster Shard, kind of a crappy first item to get. For his first point, we're going to go into Route Marcher. We'll look at his other stuff once he levels up again. Let's see, Reload Skill plus 5 and Melee Defense plus 5 and an Aura, or we can get Leadership in an Aura. Let's get the Reload in... Were created for such All right, and now we're going to move as far over this way as we can. And we're going to recruit two more peasant archers. Okay, and then we got a dock here. We're going to go ahead and use our stone. So the, the two that we have for stone right now are that we can take control and corruption to zero, or we can rush construction. So we're going to rush construction on this. Go ahead and get these switching around and to get some extra income. Now, these orcs are going to probably try to take the floating pyramid, but I'm still going to upgrade it anyway. If they take it, then we'll just deal with it, I guess. Be unfortunate, but... Now, the long campaign is all in Lustria, so all four of the compass things that we need to get, they're all in Lustria. So we'll probably just get rid of Cathay. But in the meantime, we can grab some money from it. All right, for research, we only have one option. They remove the yin yang thing from the research, interestingly. Grab some food, don't finish camping while you're gone. I, yeah, I highly doubt that will happen. <laughs> so the only thing we can start with is casualty replenishment rate for yin and campaign movement range for yang. Works for me. Uh, what's the unique building? Yeah, let's check that out. Awaits our command. A lot. Uh, allegiance points gain 20%, diplomatic relations plus 20 with Cathay, Lord of Korean plus 2, income from all buildings plus 10% local province. It's fine. When was the most recent? Not very long ago, actually. It was a Shadows of Change patch where they added a bunch of units to the Shadow of Change DLC through a patch. So some of the units they've added, which I haven't even looked at, this is a good opportunity for that as well. So they added the Gatemaster Hero, which we just look, we have one of those. Uh, they also added, where are they, for this faction? Celestial Lions are tier 3. I thought they were going to be tier 4, honestly. So their Yang very fast causes terror. They actually look pretty good. They're Yang too, huh? So they can combine with the Jet Lion pretty well. Hmm. About two weeks ago. And they also added Great Moonbird. Great Moonbird is tier 4. 
They have a bound spell, like a bomb spell. Okay. All right. All right. I think that was all for Cathay, right? As far as just spray up units. Oh, and the legendary hero. Yeah, I haven't, haven't looked outside the patch on that really. So that'll be interesting to see. Compass direction. So for the starting with the compass, we're going to choose control and income. And we also, another Cathay thing is the ivory road. So we can get a caravan to go off and trade. Caravan has additional artillery. 20% ammo. They start with two cannons. Uh, that one's interesting. It, diplomatic relations plus five with the empire. And you start with some empire people. Uh, yeah, screw that. Let's get the cannons. So the first one, I always send any trade route to with any faction that can. Cathay or or the Chaos Dwarves is to Sylvania for the Von Karstein blade. It gives the person wearing it regeneration, which is crazy good, especially on a giant dragon. So go ahead and send them with the max cargo. And then let's go ahead and get trade early. With whoever we can. So we'll just trade with any Cathayan factions. So as one of his specialties, one of his faction traits, we get vision of everyone that he has trade agreements with. So even if we end up leaving Cathay, we can always come back. There's a sea lane right next to us. I'll show what the sea lane is for anyone that doesn't know. Uh, but there's a sea lane right next to us. So we could always just take that and come back if we really want. Uh, Yeah. So there's two sea lanes over there that connect to Lustria. This one is literally right next to our starting location. And so we can take an army through here and pop out right next to Lokir. I'm, I'm kind of curious if you popped out there, if he would have a, a Black Ark just attack you immediately. The Granny Summon. All right, I'll do it over the end turn. Thank you. Uh, Okay, we got our Ivory Road sent. We got all of our Matters of State tokens used. We pointed our compass. We are recruiting. We got our trade. I think we did everything we could on turn one. You want to do a different one, Dipsy? You can do a different one if you want. That one's not a great one. Use your channel points and got one that's about orchestra. God, I hate that little scratchy feeling when you've had a sore throat or a cough. It just takes forever to go away. And just in that little, like, crook in the neck right there. The AI cannot use the portal, no. But I was talking about if we come through this one, Lokir could have... He definitely has arcs in this area. I wonder if he's, like, right next to it. You know, <laughs> that would suck. <laughs> what my dear old granny you say? This is a pretty good place to starve to death. Uh, yeah. The Jade Dragon. All right, let's head over here as far as we can. Watch for your rest. And we can't do anything else really, so we'll we just recruit. A balance of force and skill. No upgrades. There's not really anything more we can do turn one. Let's see if any more trade I popped up. With the wisdom of Drac General. Uh, there is a little bit of trade. Of uh, we'll get that started early. Just thank her throat for the last couple weeks. God, it sucks. It's like, all right, I'm already well. Start over again. Yeah, yeah, I checked out the beginning and I made some, um, <laughs> I was playing very recklessly and we were blaming it on the, well, you were here for that. Blame it on the cough syrup, but anyway, now that I know uh, how the early game is, yeah, we just started a new. And if I'm still just coughing a lot and clearing my throat and screwing up, we'll just wrap the stream up early. Hopefully not, but we'll see. My siblings have All right, not much we can do on turn uh, two. Because this is just so far away. I hope they don't take the floating pyramid. They've got two armies right there already. No, I'm not going to get money from the non-aggression packs yet because they'll pay me more later when they like me better. So I don't need the non-aggression packs with them right now. And I want to get more money out of it because we're only going to get money out of it one time. Uh, FX, 38 months. Thank you, FX. A long time, man. Uh, so we can get uh, three peasant archers or two halberd units. Honestly, I'm going to take the archers in this one. I know the halberds are a higher tier, but we have to fight ogres. I, <clears throat> I think that'll help out quite a bit. Okay, so we've got a couple options. We can come straight over here. Or I could take this. This is a Skaven settlement. And then I could sell it to these guys. 
So. Um. Dragon. That puts us behind getting up here by a little bit. He's going to take it if I don't. So, if I take it, that's going to give us access to some Jade Warriors, most likely. Or Peasant Horsemen, one of the two. Yeah, let's just do it. All right, we get we can get money out of it. So, we're going to tell Marcus that we'll go to war against Clan Mange. And if Marcus does well down here, we don't have to worry about the south for a while, so that's good. Yes. There are no such thing as man-sized rats. <laughs> that's absurd. Ah, uh, Grey Bush, 17 months. Thank you, Grey Bush. Got also very much appreciated. An executioner. Okay, let's uh let's see if they're scaven in, in their walls. Eric Victory Medium. They have an armor and shielded. All right, so we will fight this one. Let me put the wager up for those of you that want to wager on Twitch's side here. There you go. There's You can risk your real fake channel points. Uh, two... No, they have four slings. Okay. What about rat-sized men? <laughs> Folks with long substreaks get on... And sub every month or is there an auto sub there's an auto sub for any kind of subscription other than um twitch prime so if you if you do a, any kind of paid subscription you can set it up to reoccur and you can also just buy it in advance usually at a markdown so there's uh, some people that'll sub like six months in advance yeah and all right well i've played this map hundreds of times like literally hundreds of times so i know exactly where i want to go attack this area. This area is only covered by one tower. That one can kind of clip you if you're a little bit too close. Okay. So it didn't look like they had any uh, dweller. Not dweller. They didn't have any rat summons. I didn't see that. So And they have no spells, so we can be okay to clump up a little bit. Wait, who's that over there? Oh. Jade officer. Sorry about that, Jade Art Officer. And Jade Lion. Minutes below, thank you. Telling you, not all here today. Not all here today. Alright. Alright. Well, let's go. Okay, we want to get them. Oh, they're not even on that wall right there. That's good. So we want to hit these. The Celestial. Let us show them their hubris in the moments before their deaths. Cathay, with me! Should have probably recruited more archers. Okay, so wait, who do you guys have that are activating that wall? What the crap? You're not up there. You're up there. Okay, let's turn you into the dragon. I don't want the puppy to go through that. Gotta be careful because he will absolutely barrel through that when it opens to let them in and out of the gatehouse. Okay. Get on there and knock them off. Yeah, see how it opened? He would super go through there and then if he gets stuck over there and takes a lot of damage, that would really suck. Okay, let's put you guys on guard mode. Have you attack those Skaven Slingers? Uh, is there any that are on their own? There we go. Okay, gates being attacked now. I should have saved that. It's not really that strong of a move, but I got more out of it for sure. Alright, puppy, now you're gonna attack that. Back on the friggin' wall. You guys moved up. Okay, 
bringing harmony. Seeking Cathay's foes. Seeking Cathay's foes. Chief Executioner. He has a lot of HP left. Go on, wizard. Puppy, you mean cat? I keep thinking of them as foo dogs instead of celestial lions of some sort. Oh my god, you guys are stuck over there? That's not good. They really look like foo dogs to me. It's a feline, sir. Why are you guys stuck in there? What the crap? Master of defense. How long is that gate's down? Uh, it's almost there. March in ordered ranks. Move as wind. Bringing harmony. Okay, those are broken. Shenyang sends us. Riding the winds. Move what? Oh my god, it's bugs. He will not move. Really? That ran into that. Am I seriously going to have to replay the battle because of this? I can't even turn him into a human. Wow. might have to redo this uh we'll see but i mean i'm gonna take way more damage not being able to use my lord i've never had i've never had that happen either with any flying unit oh my god it won't i'm on legendary too so again i have played hundreds hundreds of siege battles with flying units landing on the wall never had that happen We'll see. We'll leave him on there. But we're probably going to take a lot more damage on the ground because of it. But we'll see. Sucks. He can't do anything. He's just literally stuck. Yeah. March in ordered ranks. The celestial face. Man, that sucks. All that for. I know I can. Yeah. Kind of don't want to, but. I mean, it's not my fault. It's bugged. Dragon God. He's completely stuck. Yeah. Cavalry. Patches both giveth and taketh away. Yeah, that's right. All right. We'll reload the fight. I mean, obviously we're doing great at it, but that sucks. Oh, uh, what a day. <laughs> Did he unstick? Nope. Wait, 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 wait. Nope. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. All right, well. You've seen a bug like that before? You haven't seen it in a really long time? I've never ran into that, yeah. I'm almost at a thousand hours on Warhammer 3 already. That's kind of crazy, too. Yeah, I've, I've literally never seen that bug. Yeah, Warhammer 1, 2, or 3. And I run into it today. <laughs> uh, session, thank you for the three gift subs. Thank you, Session. Very much appreciated. Uh, I mean, we would have still won the battle, but we lose so many more units just because our Lord's literally bugged out on top of the wall. Yeah, just literally wasn't doing anything. He wasn't attacking nearby units. He, he couldn't transform. He couldn't use any abilities. He couldn't move. He wouldn't fly off the wall. It's literally standing there. Goal, thank you, Session. I appreciate it. Almost like they were netted without the net. Yeah, yeah. All right. I'm kind of wondering if I shouldn't even put him on the wall this time. <laughs> Like, that's what I usually do, though, with flying units, because they are so good. 
I mean, when we were playing the Daniel campaign, it was so nice to knock them off the wall because one swoop and they fall off the insta-die. You've had it reoccur for you. Hopefully it's not a new patch thing. Yeah. You ran in that bug playing last night also. Uh-oh. Manfred on his dragon. He would not move at all. Wouldn't do yeah. Yeah, that's uh that's not good. Well, if it happens again, I'll just we'll stop putting him on a wall, but big flying units on a wall are is really 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 strong. It would suck if the patch screwed that up, but I wouldn't be most loyal. Super shocked, you know. But yeah, we'll see. Had it on a paladin on Pegasus as well as Crow and two on the same map. Crap. Yeah, well, that's not a good sign. Uh, you're seeing an ad, so answer your question when you're done with the ad. Okay. Yeah, now they're actually defending differently, so that sucks too. Together, we shall reduce these bones to a red mist. The better to water our fields and trouble our families. No Might be a map-specific bug. Yeah, this is a very common map too. Okay, well, like when I was loading in the first time, I was like, oh, I've been on this map hundreds of times. I'll just try not to land him on that part of the wall, I guess. I don't know. Maybe it's that section. No, do not go in, puppy. Do not go in. I know you're tempted. Don't do it. Don't do it. What? Some of them are coming out. That's weird. Okay. Uh, let's get you guys on attacking the gates. And then you will stay back to get the harmony bonus. And they're putting some back on the wall. There's only a couple on the wall. Find those. Make sure these guys are on guards. So they're not chasing like crazy. Keep you back to get the harmony bonus. Okay, laying on those. Back on the. What do they have up there? Okay, they're down. Order and balance. All right, get that open. Light as a cloud. Hold these before they get stuck back there. The There's some more slingers. Those ones. Puppy, you're helping with the gate now. Good. Victory's in our grasp already. Nice. How's the gate doing? Uh, it's about half health. Uh, there is a tower up there shooting us. Okay, those are done. Understood. Bring in harmony. Xinyang faithful. Stone and steel. Where's their leader? Because we got that execute ability. He's over there. Okay. Dragon God. Sinking Captain's bones. A must destroy. Back in the air, my friends. Gates almost down-ish. Oh, they're back on the tower. Move up. Peasant archers. Marching as one. Right, back on those. Gates open. Come on in. Now we can use the breath once they clump up on us. Uh, 
Turn you guys this way. Okay, those are routing again. Get you guys back in the air. Bring you up. Alright, now it's dragon breath time. Doesn't do a ton of damage, but I mean, it's just a free bound spell, right? So, just free damage. You are quite surrounded. Let's get you pushed through. They seem to not have as much mass as I would really think. I know I was mentioning that earlier, but really seems like for something made out of a solid piece of jade, they should be a little bit heavier. else about to break over here it's kind of weird that their melee specialist lord is just like eh, never like those guys anyway time you do oh anonymous name of the gift sub to a master pilot no i know that's not why you're saying it i'm sure they do too or else they wouldn't be gifting you a sub but i don't know who you are anonymous but i appreciate it i got an idea maybe probably wrong though um yeah so what was it that you wanted me to reply let's see Uh, could they have patched in a bug? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Patches oftentimes come with bugs, unfortunately. Not, not like they intend to, of course, but... Crap, wasn't looking back there. Jade officer. Guided by Gate master. Thoughts in harmony. It is fated. March in ordered ranks! Peasant Spearman! This is actually going worse than the last fight. The one that I had to reload from because it bugged out. I mean, I should have just stuck with it. I mean, it's still going fine, but... Definitely not quite as well. Maybe be close to that decisive this time. Maybe. Yeah, I don't. I don't know why they're not sitting there. A uh, lord over here. He's a melee specialist lord, and they're just not sending him. Kind of weird. It's kind of like they thought we were gonna attack somewhere else. I don't know. I, I didn't forget a unit. They're all over here. We don't have anyone stalking or anything, so... Kind of... Kind of odd. See if we can break these ones.
Oh god, I'll let the crowing get really beat up. I am thinking we might want to dismiss them anyway. In the long run. Crowmen are dead, okay. So I definitely did way worse than the last two times I did this battle. Because I was trying to hurry it up. Now he's coming. I'm not sure why this one went so much differently. But I was thinking about dismissing the Crowman anyway, so I'm not super bummed by that one. I think last time I was chasing a lot more. The heavens bring celestial wrath, and war. Bureaucrat and war. So they didn't uh, recover like this. And since we're so clumped up, our archers aren't really shooting much either. Mind that one. Defenders of Cathay. The Dragon Emperor commands. Yeah. A lot messier than last time, but oh well. I guess instead of dismissing the Crowman, we'll just let them die. <laughs> I think the only good thing about keeping the Crowman in this playthrough, the starting one, they don't seem very good. They seem about the same stats as like the Carrion stuff, which I also don't ever use. I feel very good. Would be to chase down enemies at the end. And also to give the bonus to these guys. I wasn't thinking about that. Because these ones are Yang and the Crowman were Yin. Yeah, they just give the these guys harmony, battle harmony. So maybe that was worth keeping them. But yeah, well. It's funny that it was going better before I had to reload because the bug. Seems like how today is going for me in general. And I was really close canceling the stream today for not feeling well. Oh my god, a close victory. That's crazy. Earlier today, we did that same fight as a decisive, and we got, like, no losses. But... Yeah, and people that watch that all put all their stuff on decisive. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, But yeah, we don't have to worry about the Crowman taking up a spot. So I don't really think they're very good in straight up combat like that, but they killed a lot on the wall. I should have kept them, but we shall annex this. but we will give or we'll get uh, better units there. It's fine. Then All right, war. so we can end up recruiting Jade Warriors there, and we are in a different province. So if I recruit on someone here. The orcs are probably going to attack. I don't want them to attack and screw with that so i'm gonna recruit a lord back here and we saved one last time we'll just recruit her she has an ambush chance we'll go ahead and recruit some units with her and send her this way next turn Eye of the Emperor. hope i feel better soon thank you i'm hoping i didn't come back to the stream too early all right so we are going to put a point in inspiring presence um, and then we're gonna go down this line. So this line buffs him as a combatant, and it also makes his execution ability, um, it gives it more range. Later on, you get more, um, like a higher threshold, so it works at 33% health instead of 20% health. So we're just gonna go down that and hopefully execute some people. And then let's get the other bonus here for the leadership aura. Okay, we got recruitment going. We don't have any buildings we can upgrade. Long may we darkness 
Wind no more trade. We don't need money from the non-aggressions right now, so that will be the end on that turn. Abilities, recruitment, and building. Yeah, I already have. That's why they're both at zero. Pose you on legendary. Yeah, I use those on turn one. So we're, we're waiting on them to come back up. We will use them every time we can, unless we're saving up for something bigger, for sure. Like the districts. Oh, crap. I have it on fast forward. I didn't mean to do that. I want to see what they're doing. Might not be in range anyway. So we can add two archers or three jade warriors to this. Uh, let's add the jade warriors. The caravan. The Empress architect. So we can't get over there this turn. We'll just move to the pyramid. Governor, an executioner. Be able to reach that next turn, and we will recruit two more archers. She can't recruit this turn. But we're going to recruit another Lord, because I'm planning on using a lot of money here. And... Let's just get someone cheap. I'd just get another one of these, honestly. These guys are very cheap and have very low upkeep. Income from all buildings, only plus 3%. Train is good. Uh, what is our other one? Is it Yin or? Lord of Yin and He's Yin. Okay. Hmm. Three twelve upkeep, but she's a caster. Okay. What else do we have? Maybe leadership minus two in the local region. He only has 260 upkeep. Um, yeah, we'll try this one, I guess. Celestial General. Okay, grab two more Jade Warriors for you Dragon over here. Do this. I know I'm spending a lot of money, but. Floating Pyramid, so we're going to make this province go into the Yang direction first so that we get an extra recruitment slot. And oh man, yeah, we're... Again, though, we're... The, this series is only about the long campaign victory and nothing in here is for Cathay. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking we'll sell that province and then we'll come back through the, the, way, the water, the sea lanes if we need some... Hey, the shipwreck there. Um... We'll come back through the sea lanes if we want to attack Cathay, if we have, like, extra armies or money or something, but... Alright. You dare. Any trades? Not your no, Imperial own. Warden's not wanting to trade yet. We got one of each stone back, so we need to keep an eye on that one. It's 2-2. Two, two. We'll, we'll use that again. Oh no, the general has a scar. But he has a crazy story. We should be afraid. He got it from shaving. <laughs> Howlers. All right, so got our first. Time is lacking. Okay. Celestial general. So he can actually reinforce there. Dragon. So let's hit this. Rouse for battle. I of the we don't need to though. Even auto resolve is low. Hmm. Gone. Double door. Double door. Welcome in. Death by my hand. Okay, let's think about this. So he has two unit slots. He can recruit this turn. Child of the nine. That would the allow us to recruit two more Jade Warriors host. here and then march over to hit here with two extra units. So let's go ahead and do that. And be recompensed. Natural authority. Yeah, so an execution imminent. Hmm.
don't know how low it really will be. What do they have? Hmm. Chef Low, yeah, I'm kind of curious with this faction exactly what low will mean. You know what? Let's test it early. So, close and low. Let's take a look. Uh, yeah. It, so, the, the peasants. The peasant front line. We could have taken less than that. Ah, we know going forward. The other stuff actually performed okay on low. Okay, so we are going to sell Cathay so we can get a huge boost going forward here. Master yeah, probably not worth, but you know. So now we have that extra recruitment slot this turn. Shaper of the eight winds. And then we'll give him armor. Also, our caravan should be coming back soon, right? And then on this guy, uh, we will just give him Blade Master and then extra ammunition. Also, uh, we'll wait until the blade comes in. Okay, as far as the commandment goes, we can get control. Research rates, campaign movement reduction for enemies in the area, corruption reduction, melee defense in the area, recruit cost reduction, local recruitment capacity plus one. Income from trade. Let's get extra recruitment for the for now. Okay, so for our starting research, let's grab the timbers of extra ammo. I think. Let's see. How how we saw this one before. Base missile damage plus twenty percent. How long would it take to just go straight to that? Sixteen turns. Oof. Let's just start with the ammo here. Even now, we learn. Yeah, usually getting growth sooner the better too, yeah. What does that lead to? Upkeep reduction for yang units, horse bonding. Only five, but yeah, I'm gonna get the extra ammo either way. Plus five, that's only plus five. Horse bonding we don't talk about. Or it's just Seven horse whispering. Dragons. Got something against Robert Redford? <laughs> like five people in chat know what the crap I'm talking about. Wind shaper. Uh alright. We are the dragon blooded. Alright, what? Who's Robert Redford? Don't worry about it. Before my time. Keeper. Definitely. Definitely before my time. Nod slowly. <laughs> yeah, Robert Redford. You love that gift. I am noticing that you're talking in memes today. Even like very niche memes. Like the Saurus Warrior meme. <laughs> you love butch casting? Uh, talking in memes. Need a translator. Uh, so we have to have two turns to get there. Kind of sucks, actually, but go, brave warriors of Cathay. Okay, this will be up next Celestial turn, I guess. Ancestors. Celestial general, warriors, sons, with me. Okay, so four recruit slots is great, though. Child of the night. Mm, I regret this. This is really expensive to globally recruit those right now. But let's use all the money we got for free. I know, I know some people like that. Nothing to get. Use your money however you want, you know, as long as you're keeping you and your loved ones fed and your bills paid and whatnot. But, man, I know some people that they just, if they get any money, they just spend immediately. They're like, they look for things to spend it on. Uh, all right, so yeah, we have this as Yang. So recruitment cost reduction, recruit rank plus one, and local recruitment capacity plus one. Research rate plus five. Okay. Child of the Nine, what does he mean? Yeah, it's a good question. 
I think someone said, I thought someone said before that there was like nine children of the dragons, right? Does he mean he's one of those nine children? Or did I misunderstand what the person meant? But yeah, if anyone knows the lore. Meanwhile, I'll be personally the Lord's Three Armies. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Don't look at that. Only the Celestial Do as I ancestors. say. Will feel better? Thank you. I still not feeling too great today. I almost didn't stream, but appreciate it. The magistrates can watch from the You think I'm right? Oh, so also I I am surprised that they it looks like they're making another Cathay legendary lord, right? They fixed anti-aliasing. I don't know. Looks like they're making another Cathay legendary lord. At least they alluded to it in the patch notes for the Saint Shadows of Change. They said they wanted to add another. Uh, they, they very specifically said. We were monkeying around with adding more another melee focused um lord and they like they were using monkey puns like ape puns so i think they might add the uh yeah the monkey king guy so that'd be pretty cool so i don't know the lore though i've seen pictures of it but it would so in your opinion would that end up being a legendary lord i'm guessing so right it wouldn't be a like legendary hero i hope all right we got the von karstein blade so melee attack plus eight, frenzy on the wearer and regeneration. Excellent. Who am I asking? Anyone, like anyone that knows the lore. I don't know the Lord. Who'd most likely be a legendary Lord? So many dragons. Be. It is and then there would also be like monkey warriors as mythic themed units, maybe. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. They were definitely, uh, they were definitely hinting at some monkey-based or ape-based thing. He's kind of like a Draka type figure, not a friend to the Cathayim. Uh, interesting. You say he would be a lord. So maybe a Cathay lord that isn't really down with the, the dragon children, so to say. End this paltry threat. He usurped Cathay once. Uh, okay, okay. Leadership plus 20. Wow, okay. Oh, the Celeste. So, again, that's a decisive low, but we can get it actually, like, no casualties by bringing this guy up. Leads out in the Monkey King. Interesting. Royal yeah, that was like... Eager for battle. Having more powerful melee would be Ice of Cake. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. Battle reinforce at time minus 40% faction wide. Oh, I didn't put the friggin' Von Karstein blade on him. This is actually a set item, huh? So there's also a scroll. Cooldown minus 25% for spell and miscast chance reduction. Kind of whatever, but. We got an ancillary. That's just the flag there. Who made the lore for the game? Uh, It's all from Games Workshop, right? Not creative assembly. In fact, creative assembly has to talk to, has to get permission for anything they put in the game. So what it sounds like from the patch notes when they explain things is that uh, creative assembly has like, all right, we need this kind of unit. Who can you give us from the lore and from your games that we can use? And how do we use them? It seems like that's kind of kind of how it works. Uh, let's give him some health. That'll pair, pair really well with that regeneration. Eye of the Emperor. And then more ammo. This is our caravan. Let's give him some replenishment, casualty replenishment. Attention. And then what does this guy have? Uh, at level eight, he gets a special line, leadership aura. He can choose one of these, so he can give his arm army victory armor, mine, his army weapon strength, or his army charge bonus. Okay. Everything else looks pretty standard. He gets a splash attack. He also gets to the point where his attack lowers melee attack and melee defense of the unit or of the enemy. Okay, we'll just get route marcher to start with. With that, I would lead more effectively. Uh, yeah, like I, it seems you like know, it's a okay. joint thing, obviously, I guess. But from what it sounds Move like, straight. is they're like, hey, we need. Move fast. They might Trust come to them the and be like, we need another Zinch 
units and it needs to be more melee focused because we are missing that in the roster and people want that what do you have for us you know okay the stones are back lord of silent cathay and is a primary defender against kuresh and end oh that would be really cool yeah i really i i hope they flesh all that out right there that would be i can't imagine they don't at some point right i would love i mean i highly doubt it but if they made a like uh, Total War Warhammer 4, which was never in the cards, right? And fleshed all this out that you can't even get to over at the Sea of Dread and Jade Sea and stuff. That would be pretty awesome. So the monkey god or whatever in the lore is down here? Because there's not a lot going on down here either. Like, there's also some... Like, who are these tree people down here? Spirits of Shan Lin. I would love to have a... It would be kind of cool to have more factions in the Cathay area where he lives in those jungles so there's there's definitely a spot for him yeah i mean i just want more stuff in the game always but i'll be happy pretty much with whatever they add within reason Natural authority. all right so we want to use these we can do another round of recruitment First among warriors. uh we might as well use it on her windshape So let's do free recruit here. Well, not free. Instantly complete one round of recruitment. So she almost has a full army now already. Jeez. Okay, and then... Yeah, yeah, we'll go ahead and rush that. That's fine. And then after this, we need to save up to try to get... District. Like, hopefully we have four of these in one or the other by the time this gets to our need for district. Also, we can now switch this over to control. I think she's going to be full after this anyway. Yeah. I mean, on the next recruit cycle. General of the Celestial Host. So much to do. Um. I must keep our forces in balance. For Cathay. Mm. Servant of the dragons. All right. Hope they get the current faction fleshed out and with proper mechanics like Norska. Yeah, I was just talking about Norska really neat. There's some factions that have so many legendary lords and some that have basically none, right? I'm glad that they're starting to add a, a second one to the chaos rosters, you know? So happy about that. I'm curious what they're going to do with the Nurgle one in April. But also there is a Norskan faction here that would be cool, right? Starting, starting... Uh, I don't know how this is in the lore, but the Skeggy place, you know? That'd be a pretty awesome place for a Norskin legendary lord going and raiding the donut. So, donut's already too strong anyway. Put another faction there to, to knock them around. Um, okay, so now we can go, if we want, into Harmony. But if we do, we lose this these bonuses. What does Harmony give us? I... Harmony is campaign movement range increase, upkeep reduction, and income from all buildings. So if I go into Harmony, we get My extra income here. Pirates. But we lose out on a few other things. Helps out Daniel too, yeah. yeah. Uh, the, the order is minus one turn, yeah. That's why I like the global ones went down to one. It finishes one, one turn of recruitment, basically. Do I want to go into Harmony? I don't think so. I think it, this helps us. Well, I don't know. 15% could be substantial, right? Especially with how I'm having all these extra armies and just pushing. We probably won't be recruiting here again for a little while. Not a lot. So, yeah, let's go with Harmony. So we'll get one of the Ying, or excuse me, Yin buildings. Let's get the Yin growth building. Okay. Hunt Smasher. Child of the Nine. But yeah, fleshing out the current factions is always great. And all but I also think of like the where the map lacks. And not like the layout of the map, but like what places don't have enough legendary lords sitting there that they could pop another into. Yeah. Yeah, that whole continent over there needs added. 
I think it's definitely intended on the original plan. Let's hope they go back. Gold Sigil Sword, melee plus three, melee defense plus three. Okay. All right. So we're going to head over here. We can't get there this turn. So we can either get some replenishments. Well ordered camp. Or I can get some magic. Let's get replenishment. Such joy. Seeing our soldiers transit. Loyal novices are better than uncertain veterans. I will not tolerate sloth. Hmm. Interesting that that worked that way. Change that over the end turn. Oh well. But she's going to end up with one unit less than I thought. Uh, let's upgrade this so we can get the iron here for some more income. More growth. It is a burden being an executioner. Uh, but what do I do? You can always sell this. How much would he give us for it? Assume that a hunter does not understand it's a capital, right? With a military building. 4700 right now. So if we get really like in debt. We got like 5k just sitting over there. I think I'm actually going to replace this with herbs as well. I don't think we're going to recruit any more Jade Warriors up here in the front. So let's go ahead and just demolish that. And we'll replace that with some income. So who are you guys? They're at war with Skeggy also. Looks like they've lost some armies to them. Mazda Mundi is at war with Skeggy. A good job it's amazing world yeah yeah this is a a crazy endeavor really like i know we have to did i just see no i don't think so i thought i saw the orcs uh sail out from their settlement no okay that was them <laughs> i was like yeah that's that's the uh Rikarth down there i think Before you incur the celestials dead iron reduces upkeep as well I don't know why it does that <clears throat> when it pops up. I think it's a visual bug where we're actually seeing the cheats of the of the computer. So it's when the AI pops up with a deal like that, I think you're seeing what they value everything as, as if they loot it. But yeah, it's definitely not that when you do it. Okay, we got our first research. Master of the meteor. Biggins, thank you for the eight months. Are you Biggins? Appreciated. Oh no, he can't reach. Uh, we're going to have to attack with her and march him into... I, I didn't respect how long it takes to walk through the jungle. Thank you, Biggins. Yeah, this is uh, this is Rakarth, though, right? Yeah. We're not... No. Minor... Uh, Rakarth is below them. That's a minor faction. They missed all week? Yeah, it really sucks. I almost didn't show it today, but... Uh, all right. Probably shouldn't do this, but go ahead and do it anyway. Serve and honor your ancestors. Within my reach, for the emperor. Dismantle them. Let's show some love. Thank you. The Jade Dragon. Sucks. I wanted him to lead the attack, but. Fighting on two, yeah. yeah. It's nice low. Is this an actual settlement? It's a lot of work to fight. Witness their demise. General. Hmm. He won't actually add to this, right? Not really. Although, we need to bring him over either way, so I guess it doesn't matter. Also, I wanted to hand some of his units off. Advance without heroics. So, we want to trade these four out. The magistrates can watch from the rear, but fighting or dying. And then I wanted to hand some over to her, too, I think. Yes. 
Yeah, this should we should basically lose nothing doing this. We will bring order. Always surprising how much it still does kill, but it was, it was very little. We'll we'll replenish that over the, over the turn. All right, blue viper is finally gone. Got a follower that gives us campaign movement. Nice. Axe collector. Let's make sure we spread those out. War horse on those two lords. Orc bane, which we probably won't find any more green skin this run. <laughs> Also get some Savage Orc spawn. Commands. Lord of Wei Jin. So this will give us rep with Cathay. Also give us melee attack and melee defense for all the Jade units. We do have quite a bit of Jade units in his army right now. Yeah, let's grab that one. Master of the Meteor Winds. And for you, we'll just grab more ammo. And some armor. This victory is not mine. Route Marcher. But Boy, she got a lot of experience off that. Route Marcher. Iron Presence. Uh, we should probably get her spells done. Tactical acumen probably. brings victory. Oh, right. It's four armies. Yeah, yeah. That's right. I, I know that because that's what I was doing with uh, Bretonia, right? So. To four armies, yeah. Four armies per side. That's right. But only 40 units on the map at a time. Kind of like a discount. You can keep an eye on, um, I'm not affiliated with it, but there's a site called Is There Any Deal? Is There Any Deal.com? And you can put alerts on things. So you can watch, and it'll say, like, okay, this is the cheapest the DLC's ever been. This is what it is, cheapest, where it's cheapest now. This is the different DRMs. Huh. Do I want to go with her spells? Oh, she gets a bound spell. I didn't even notice that. Plague of Rust, Spirit Leech. Ooh, Flock of. Flock of Doom. Always love Flock of Doom. Flock of Doom is so good. Feeling Foe. She only gets one of them. Okay. When did she get that? Level 10. Hmm. Fan Invasion to Galavant and the Lizard Land. Yeah. Forces were created for such and the Yang oh, the Yang Lord gets different bound spells. Okay, that's cool. We'll have to recruit one of them too. What did you do this week? Had some job stuff. Me, I got... Uh, I went and saw Dune 2 on Monday and then I got sick. So... Yeah, I'm on the fence here. I kind of think we should go with Missile Strength. I feel like we're going to need that against Mazdamundi. Yeah, let's just do it. Missile Strength. Yeah, as, I don't know, though. Hang on. Is there a... Is there a damaging spell? Let's see. Speed Reduction. Blossom Wind is a little bit of damage, right? It also blinds. Okay. Medium forward moving area of effect. Affects enemies in range. Okay, that's good. So maybe we should grab that first. That way we at least have some kind of the battle is won. way to and use so her wins magic if she's in a fight. What is the power of Yin? Speed and armor reduction when she's casting nearby. Okay. We'll grab Blossom Wind. And then we might go into a range from there. Missile Mirror is hilarious. Yeah, I do remember that one. As long as you cast it correctly, right? <laughs> Instrument of the Divine. Okay, so Iron Presence, start on him. All right, our main settlements. Nothing we can upgrade there. This, though, we're going to get some money coming through. We really need money. For our next research, let's grab the tin armor for Jade Warriors. If we end up having to fight Marathi, it just depends. Like, if we can peace out with Marathi, we probably should, because none of the compass things are up there, and it's also inhospitable terrain. I always forget that the area around Marathi is actually cold. It doesn't seem like it should be. I mean, it's very mountainous, though. But what remind, what finally made it stick with me is when they put um, Ostinkia over in those woods, the cold woods. Uh... 20% missile damage is kind of crazy. I'm actually thinking about just going straight there. But let's let's get some armor for the front line. All Cathay will thank us. Airvan, we're going to max this and we're going to send it to Marienburg. As much money as we can. All right. Any trades that we can do? Mont Windshaper. Where there is trade. understanding, the ancestors smile. Oh, they've already lost one of the gates this time. 
They're about to lose a second one. We can confederate them. If it was possible for me to sell, sell the gates, but you can't. For some reason, you cannot sell the gates even to bordering people. I would actually confederate them and sell the gates. Uh, was there anyone else that will confederate? No. It's just them because they're about to die. Nagaroth is basically one giant Canada, yeah. <laughs> Childhood, but... Those siblings, stop shooting yourself. Stop shooting yourself. Yeah, it starts getting cold climate, like, right after you get out of the jungle. It's kind of crazy. Right past the gates, right? I think that's everything, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Hans Bieber. I have made time for you. What's up, Philip? No. No. You already like us anyway. Why do I need to give you this? In fact, you have two settlements in a province that I want, so. Faction droid, Rebel Lords of Nanyang. Uh, okay, beast been destroyed. Occupy, loot, razor, sack three settlements and we get an epic armor. What does that one do? Diplomacy plus 20 with Cathay, armor plus 10. Enemy hero action, success chance reduction, wound recovery time reduction, and armor of the dragon's gaze. Damage, a uh, pass ability, damage resistance 10%. And allies, leadership plus four. Pretty good just for doing basically what you're gonna be doing anyway. All right. Why is it Mazdamundi over here? I need to kill him. Time is lacking. I need to kill him. My astronomy brings favor. The crap. Winds. Why aren't you here? <laughs> Friggin' lizard. Well. The path of destiny. Well. Building harmony. Well. Establish a safe. Uh, let's keep recruiting council. on you. A lot of this we might literally just be handing off as these two lose some of their army. Okay, floating pyramid upgraded. Nothing else we can do. Money is going fast. Going fast. I think I have to stay with control and income right now just because our income is so bad. Airman's already going. Any new trade stuff? Wolf heart. Meowing. Celestial ancestor. Nope. Oh, how? Hang on. How is Cathay actually doing? It's always wise. Since I left them. Okay. So they have not taken over the little vampires. Hmm. What are you doing, Xiaoming? Get over there. Do some stuff. Where's your sister? He's sunbathing. Mazdamundi, probably. Charging up. He's probably over there getting <clears throat> crap loads of levels off of Skeggy. It's crazy how much experience the AI gets. Uh, on, on Legendary, at least. What was it? Which one was it? Was it Grumrindle, I think? Where he was literally not doing any fighting, just running us around a mountain. And he gained like two levels just off his passive. <laughs> Something like that. Fight some ogres or destroy jade warriors. Yeah, okay. Mountain climbing experience. I hear that. They still do the yodel game. The yodel mountain climber guy on Price is Right. I remember that from when I was a kid. Yeah, it's the yodeling one. I don't know why, but when I was a kid, I really wanted to see that one all the time. And, and Plinko. All right, let's see how their artillery is. Grand cannons. I think this is a tier three artillery. So this should be, be the first time I've used these. Not just in this campaign, but like literally ever. Well, Plinko, I don't know why. Uh, 
crap. Most exhilarating game. Chai of the wheel itself. Let's go to Steric. Stasis, welcome in. I mean, it's no Silostra hit. You know, it's it's not. We're not knocking him down with Carinade. He's gonna be dead already, but it's pretty good. Never conquered. There's those man eaters. Okay. Should be dead before he gets here. Yeah. Oh, that one missed him. We should switch to the man eaters. I wish I don't want to hit that guy again, but. Oh, you don't have a mount, right? Yeah, that's pretty good. Spells. Cannons, uh, yeah, hit something that's running really far away. Because I don't want any friendly fire here. Yes! Peasant archers! Grand Cannon's pretty decent. Yeah, it gets some artillery. It's been a while since I played Faction, had a really good artillery. Ah, it's not been that long. We played Chaos Doors not that long ago, actually. <laughs> One of the best artillery, if not the best in the game. Yeah, it's been a while. That looked easy. Yeah, that was a really easy one. Really accurate, too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, again, it doesn't seem quite as good as Carinades, but it has more of an arc. These are more like relatively more... No, actually... I like mortars, but more precise, really. More similar to mortars, it feels like. Not carronades. Favorite moment was Kislev's little Grom. Nine of them unloading on Durthu. Large lumbering frame. <laughs> Need the money. Caravan Master can get an Axie buffing ability also. I mean, Sisterhood's gone. That's the one over the mountains. Hero recruited Astromancer. Oh, nice. Astro All right, let's check this out. Astromancer gives scouting. Uh, I was hoping for replenishment. This game looks like EVE Online. I see very little... Uh, very little that reminds me of EVE. <laughs> Definitely not one of the first games I think of at all. More like civilization map with Warhammer battles. How I usually describe it. But if you don't, I mean, if you don't know those games or whatever, but it's, it is surprising. So what does he get here? Harmonic Convergence. Armor, melee increase. Okay. Rolling Skies. You got Wind Blast. It's a, not a great damaging spell, but it's cheap. Melee and armor reduction. That's it. Dang. Thunderbolt, good against armor, good against artillery pieces, strong versus multiple combatants. 
He gets a compass mount. <laughs> okay. Interesting. He gets the new great moon bird as well. Chain lightning, the comet. I remember the comet. Uh, yeah, I mean, this will be okay. It's not what I wanted. Martial artist. That doesn't really help on him very much at all. Dragon's acolyte. I wish we had gotten the um, uh, alchemist. Servant. She has some metal magic. I really like metal magic. Consulting ancient maps. Well, they're rocket ones. That's the closest we've gotten to space traveling. Tiny bit like Eve. Because Ikit can build rockets. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, like I said, maybe uh, you don't uh, you don't know the other games to really, which is fine. Yeah. Governor, an executioner. Uh, all right. So Mazda Mundi actually. Oh, we're strength rank three right now. So unfortunately, we have to go to war with Mazda Mundi, even though he's starting to like us, because one of our long victory conditions is to hold Hex Auto at tier three. I stand ready. So yeah. All right. The Celestial Commands. Eye of the Emperor. Uh, let's give you... Instrument of the oh, divine. nice hammer there, guy. Careful when you say that to people, I guess. Our ancestors watch over us. Always. All right, so here we go to War Room Mundi. No one will pay us to go to war with them because we haven't met Skeggy yet, so. Speed 30%, Strider. Strider means they're not impacted by terrain and Wayfair. I always forget what Wayfair is. Uh, deceleration and acceleration increase, okay. So this seems like it's very good for the Jade Lion. Death. Oh my god, I forgot to name him again. Thank you. Yeah, let's name people. I'm telling you, I'm not all here today. Blame the... Blame the cough medicine. All right. Warhammer Lord. This will make it easier so I can remember them as well. So you are... God, Aram bought so many. He's like the first Lord in almost every... Every run because of that. <laughs> okay. For the Imperial and then we've... Oh, man, they're backwards. This is going to throw me off. No, I got to rename it. Okay, mage. You're going to be the mage. Sinful mage. All right. There we go. And then Aram. Serve from the front. And then I've got two Child heroes to name. All eight winds bend to my will. Uh, this one's Vegemite. Vegemite was a lord in the last run and now a hero. And then <laughs> you can definitely tell who watches the... <laughs> Chosen Warhammer stuff over on dragon. Twitch, uh, Ink Boy. There we go. Alrighty. Yeah, thank you for the reminder. Okay, so let's go ahead and bring Mage up. Get some experience off this. General. Aram doesn't need to be all the way up right now. We'll just bring them closer and then recruit on them. Uh, this is our Caravan Master. Let's give him reduced chance being ambushed. A gift from the dragons. Yeah, the bird. Yeah, the bird is new this patch. And he gets it as a mount. I want, it should keep its bound spell too, right? As a mount, I would imagine. Yeah, other mounts with bound spells do that. So you'll get a bird with bombs. Okay, any trades? Ready to defend. Any confederations? No. Ancestors. Shall serve you, my lord. Granny summon. All right, Biggins, let's see what it is. See what you got. His name is just Ornery. It's because he's got all them teeth and no toothbrush. Well, that's a scary caravan. <laughs> Grimgore has like two or three armies with Wah. 
attached to them right around your caravan, and he's just like, ah, ah it's fine. Leave him, leave him be. Oh my god, stop making me fight these ogres. You've been in three or four Warhammer campaigns already, but no more colonies. Jedi, they 52 months, Jedi. Thank you for still being around. Very much appreciated. From the shadows, Jedi mind freak. Ogres, me lord. This is actually kind of good that we're getting hit by these because it's more money and we are we are chugging through money pretty uh pretty quickly. Honestly. So probably a good thing that we're getting these. I really don't know what to do after selecting uh you type an exclamation quotes. Exclamation quote. All orcs contain arrow juice. Wow, cranny. Sentient. That was from a uh, Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor campaign from like four or five years ago. But it somehow popped up as we were playing against orcs. Ooh man. Yes, from those Cannons are pretty accurate, but they really do feel more like mortars in a lot of ways. These guys are getting shot right over their head. Uh, not as good as that hit. Pre recorded the meta granny. Make sure we're all getting that harmony buff here. Let's not get any uh let me fire off that please. Subordinate only to dragons. Grand cannon for the moon dragon without hesitation. And kill as much as we can on the way out so we get some extra money. Concert you can't afford. Bunch then. All good today. Ah, uh, my throat's still not too great, but definitely better than the last couple days. The last shot, yeah. Do we love the RTS of this game? Yeah, yeah, the battles are really fun. That's the part where I'm probably gonna screw up today, because I'm sedated slightly no it's, it'll be fine the more of them to play that we play the more used to it i'll get again money money soothe sedated 
Dragon blooded shoe. Okay, he got his war horse now. That's gonna be super handy. <gasps> I didn't attack this last turn. I was just talking about how. No, that sucks. I just threw myself off a turn because I brought them up to get experience and I forgot to attack. <laughs> so much for uh for saying that. Oh, uh, that sucks. Yeah. That means Mazimony has an extra turn to get armies down here. Can't believe I did that. Celestial General. Sent by our ancestors. We must become shadow. I can't tell if he's over there. Servant of the dragons. Sure he is. Man, I can't believe I did that. We would be attacking him next what turn, and now we won't see probably. That sucks. What's that like? I know he can't cast, but we'll do that in case he's the leading army. Child of the Nine. Ugh. That was bad. Stop making these mistakes today. Flammable attacks for Great Moonbirds. Ability use plus two for Wujing Compass bound spells. What are the spells the Compass has? Bonus versus infantry for Onyx Crowman, Celestial Lion, Great Moonbird, Jade Lion, and Jet Lion. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Doesn't do us a lot of good right now, but... What level are we? Nine? Okay. Go ahead and grab extra health. The Emperor's uh, extra regen on our caravan. Man, I can't our believe I did that. Is a short Sieging down a minor settlement that we have. <laughs> Three armies at. Oh, feels bad. Maybe it'll somehow work in our favor. Income generated iron. Yeah, this doesn't. For this faction, it doesn't reduce any upkeep. We are in need. Okay. It is really funny, though, that that happened right when I said that. It's like. Yeah, if I make any more scripts today, it'll probably Celestial be in the RTS access. battles because I'm still not feeling 100% and I'm slightly sedated and I immediately make a campaign mistake. Celestial Maybe we should wait. Should have waited until he wiped out Skeggy. Nah, it's probably not good. Jair, 70 months. 70 months. Help me in the family well. Thank you. Tier 2. It's like 140 months. There he is. There's Mazdamundi. See ya. It sucks that you and Bo's not gonna get any experience, but I don't care. Spend five peasants to wipe Mazda Mundi. Oh, he probably will not fight him with honor. Yeah, friggin' right. <laughs> He's probably not going to. Uh, so the thing is, yeah, yeah, screw it. He's probably not even gonna respawn by the time we fight him. Ooh, 1600. Yeah, I'll take that. So it might have actually worked out in our favor a little bit. This little death animation is flat. <laughs> flops over. Well, unfortunately, our our legendary lord didn't get any experience, which he would have gotten a lot from that. Because I was off one turn, but... What's his defeat trait? Leadership aura size. <laughs> As if I was to let them die. Castle of Preservation, right? Okay. Master of the Oh, we could actually march to there. It's a capital, though. So they, the we don't. Wait, Dragon. is he a siege attacker? General of the Celestial Host. I'm guessing not. He's got a big hammer, but it's not big enough. I will not have a day with Help! I fall in a battle and can't get up. <laughs> Building harmony. Um. Windshaker. Leader of men. All right, let's go ahead and grab missile strength for her. The Jade Dragon's humility. Uh, yeah, same thing here. Hmm. Oh, 
that vile oh they're also being attacked by ogres yes sucks for them hey we got instrument of the divine so do i want a military district or a uh commercial district first let's see this place is gonna be tier three first and doesn't have a lot of extra money buildings but it still would boost us a little bit uh i think i'm gonna set our initial place up as a military no time they're not gonna reinforce yeah. or uh ogres i mean celestial general they shouldn't reinforce enforce the dragon's will Water, fight as one. For March for your rations. Dismantle them. Yeah, see, that's the problem is we literally can't do this fight this turn. Even manually, because the two lords that can reach here are not siege attackers. Favored wizard of Shen Yong. Consulting ancient maps. Yeah. Research. Uh, let's go after that missile strength. Twelve turns. Oof. Investment in the future. Okay, so we want to use two of these so we can start. By the time this gets to tier three, we want to be ready to upgrade it, which isn't super far away. Like six turns. I don't know. Maybe it's last words. Yeah, maybe. Um. So we could rush construction of something. Do we have anything building now that takes a bit of time? No, I mean, we don't have to use it this turn, this but. Is a time of okay. Use some hotkey I didn't know existed. All right. Does he have another army? No, he doesn't have another army. He might actually march out. Papyrans think they know everything, but I got... It is my First war was against celestial. orcs. Yeah, that's your starting enemy is savage orcs, yeah. The they actually have a lot of settlements for a starting Begging minor faction. Oh, uh, he didn't come out, okay. I guess the good news is we can have Yuan Bo go straight here after this. Hopefully they don't have... I didn't check how many settlements they had, actually. Hopefully they don't have another settlement that they took from Skeggy. Me and that caravan come back. I'm spending money like there's no tomorrow. Replenish forces or more cargo? Uh, more cargo. Yuan Bo gets control plus three passive or leadership minus three. Yeah, no thank you. My imperial parents scrutinize my work constantly. Invisibly. It is fortunate that I. Decisive low. Which map is this? I know which map this is. These are really annoying ones. Like, if you take either of these gates, you're getting hit by, like, friggin' six towers or more. And then these ones have towers here that are overlapped by ones on the corner. Yeah, screw it. We will bring order. I gotta stop doing that, though. I usually don't honor all that much when I get so many losses, but... We're almost done this war anyway. And then we should be General. able to start rebuilding better armies. I of the Emperor. Level 10. Let's get uh, jury cooldown reduction on executes and My uses additional use. So this guy will get this unlocked at 12. We want to get that as soon as he gets to level 12. So we want to hold on on the next point. This one we can spin, but on the next point we want to wait. It kind of sucks he gets Foe Seeker. 
Like, he's mainly standing back and shooting, so... Bow Seeker and Deadly Onslaught just don't seem super crazy good on... Yeah, we want to hold their next point. Points. Uh, we'll give them weapon strength. We also got a few more items, right? Trickster Shard. Oh, come on. Come on, give me a good blue item. That's a set item, too. Celestial Blade, Celestial Silk Robe. Set gives you... 8 melee, 8 defense, and causes fear. This armor gives perfect vigor. Nice. And armor 15. That's pretty good. We could upgrade. <laughs> okay. Useful tool in the right hand. Alright, so uh, let's go attack this. Such joy. He has an army there, so we should probably play this one out. Uh, Mace Infantry. Yeah, we should really play these out. I, I can't be losing these. Alright. We might have to change the compass over to the regeneration, too. If control's fine, we should probably do that. Getting 10% more casualty replenishment. And the melee infantry are taking so much damage in auto resolve, it's crazy. Probably shouldn't be auto resolving then, huh? <laughs> I hate that garrison though, the one that they had. Uh so these ones, what harmony do they have? Uh they have Yang. Oh, that's kinda nice. We could we could literally just park them over the peasant archers and we don't have to keep our melee as close. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. Let's see. We don't want you two guys to get wiped, so we'll leave you back here. Everyone else. Come up here, and then I'll rearrange you when we get up there. Gatemaster! Defenders of Cafe! Bureaucrats and warriors! Plans the dragon horses that manage the peasants. Yeah. Exactly. Seeking cafes Move as wind. Seeking cafes uh, do they have a caster? I forgot to check. It could be bad if they do. The dragon Emperor's most loyal. A destination set. Chill in the woods. Hang out in the woods, guys. You have a very important station, yeah. Fast forward while they're getting in Over there. Forest boys are just cooking up some grub to feed everyone. That's a very important role, actually. Yeah, You're right about that. Hey guys, where's your lord? I saw, I saw that you had a lord. Is he hiding in the woods too? Is he making, making food? Don't chase me down. I'll turn into a dragon. Hey, you in there? <laughs> literally go right up to them oh there he is there he is oh hey i wasn't doing anything <laughs> oh they're actually shooting at me i cannot believe i haven't seen them shoot at a small entity like that in forever. I thought they got rid of that entirely. Hmm. 
What are they doing? Why are they just sitting in one group of skinks? Also, yeah, I wasn't even trying to do that. Like, I used to... Like, one of the strategies in Warhammer 2, back when I was still cheesing a lot, was to run enemies' ammo out like that, but... I wasn't even doing it for that purpose. They just kind of... offered it. Man, those magic missiles are doing some... heavy damage, actually. I'm used to, like, Fireball doing nothing. I mean, these obviously are different than Fireball, but... Positioning is all. Now I have two ammo. Yeah, <laughs> the, the Chameleon schemes. Yeah, it's not a lot of ammo. Jade lions take so much damage so quickly. I get used to using them. I think I've, no, they didn't exist last time I even really tried out, could they? Uh, no, they. We did try out this guy for a little bit when he first came out. But I didn't. I didn't do like a real campaign. I didn't remember them being so. Yeah, get back, Jesus. You guys can get as many kills as you can, although this was a settlement battle. Yeah. Didn't use the second. Uh, no. Was there a sky god? Gem! Your little building that was neutering me is gone. Building that was neutering me? What the crap? What was I talking about? It was a Rimworld quote, so who friggin' knows? Not me. Not me. Who knows? Yeah. Could be anything. Oh no, we lost six units. The main thing is we lost health on this. This, like, quite a bit of health. He doesn't even get attacked that much. He was being attacked in melee by a, a ranged unit, which is kind of frustrating to take that much damage for something like that. Man. You still Warlord? I uh, know that was a different playthrough. Yeah. That was a different playthrough. Expanding harmony across the world. Hey, we got his armor. Nice. Oh, uh, he still has provinces. Yep. He actually took at least one. Isn't there another Skeggy? No, maybe not. No, it's up here. Guys, we could peace out with Marathi if we can take that place and give it to her. Might have been a sunblock or something, maybe. If we can take the Sulfurets next turn from the Skaven and give it to her, we probably can just worry about the South. And by the time she hates us enough to go to war with us again, we'll we'll have like tier four, tier five stuff. So Dragon -blooded sugar I think that is what we will do. Celestial General. So Mage, is there an army here? It's currently being raided. We need to deal with these friggin' ogres, too. Celestial ancestors. The 
Hmm. Oh, iron hail gunners. Okay, so it just came with that. So we just make them. Uh, armor piercing missiles. 22 ammo, only 90 range. So this is like our low tier gunner unit, right? Yin. Hmm. Fair war against the world, yeah. We'll do some of those at some point. Right now we're just doing long campaigns. I know you're kind of joking, but... We'll do some of those. In two turns, we could rush construction on this. I think we'll save it for that. Okay, more money. We are currently in harmony at the moment. Probably should stay in harmony at the moment. Well, I don't know. When this goes to tier three, we're going to be recruiting here anyway. So... All right, we'll come out of harmony, earn some money. And yeah, we got a lot of money for those fights up there. Holy crap. We can still sell this. Oh no, this guy's actually... I didn't think about that. The Hunts Marshal isn't doing as well as he normally did would because we took the town that would normally be his capital. <laughs> we are in need. Here you go. I'm sorry. No we'll take it back later. Though I do have the authority to discuss. I don't want those jerks down there pushing up. There you go. There you go. All right. <laughs> war sheep. They were the 26 months. Hoss. They were the three months. You Hoss. They war sheep. All right, so that's his starter enemy, and we just took it and kept it to make. How much were we getting? Like 160 per turn? For like 10 turns? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if it was worth it or not, but I guess we'll find out. The dragon blood. Okay, so we need to decide if we're attacking this with mage this turn or with either of these armies. We don't want them to raise an army. Is that his last settlement? That's his last settlement. We should just take it this turn and then we'll come back and deal with the ogres. On it. Descended from celestial glory. Mage, hey, get your bound spell. Nice. Flock of doom. And let's get melee. It's just melee attack. What's tier two? Melee defense. Yeah, yeah let's grab that. Dragon. Do we want to save his points? So next turn he'll be able to get this. He'll be able to recruit lords at level six. Men, to your exercises. I will not have a day wasted. Ooh, upkeep reduction, campaign movement, and casual. Yeah, let's let's wait. We'll hold on to that point. Master of the meteor winds. Upgrade archers. And let's go fight this. Wow. Uh, who do you want to lead the attack? Mage has more magic, so she'll lead the attack. Can you reach? When may I return to my texts? Dragon blooded Shugunga. Wait, why can't she move this turn? That wasn't this turn that she took that. First among warriors. Natural Did a hero use block army or something on her? I swear she had movement just a second ago. Because I clicked on her and I was like, yeah, she can reach there this turn. Weird. Am I imagining it? Hang on. I didn't swap units with her either, no. I'm going to reload and see if it's a bug. Because we have ran into another bug today that I've never seen before after the patch. So maybe this is another patch bug. I swear I didn't move her or anything though. So reloading it should just reload from right after we won that last battle, but pretty sure we didn't move her. I swear I clicked her and saw that we can take that settlement with her this turn and I just wanted to see if they had an army there before I did it, but yeah. oh well, if it if it doesn't work, oh well. Yeah, she's not blocked either. There's not even any heroes there. She doesn't have the icon. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Weird. 
Celestial General. Was that his turn? Maybe I accidentally clicked ARAM. Telling you, the drugs are getting to me. I think I must have clicked ARAM thinking it was her. She's not able to move still from the battle, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. Because we did the auto resolve. Yeah, that's what happened. We did the auto resolve, then we took you on bow over here and bought it. So yeah, she doesn't have any movement. That's accurate. My bad. I misremembered. I must have just clicked on ARAM on accident. So can ARAM take this? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. They have seven ogre units. ARAM has 11, but it's all missile units. Azir provides. All right, I need to put points in again now. Don't do drugs, kids, even if it helps you feel better. <laughs> Humility in all things. General of the Celestial Host. Dragon blooded mm. sugar. I'm gonna check these out. Their stats don't look super great, but I'm gonna check them out. Celestial General. I and hopefully I can take that. I I really hope she's not there. Alright. Yeah, we're not gonna spin that. Uh, we decided to go off balance here, right? I mean, no matter what we get, it's going to go off balance. So what's the difference between the two money ones? Income 150, income 125, and then extra from trade. If we go on the uh, this side, we get extra military slot recruitment, and we also get extra research speed. I don't know what the other sides is, though. Like, what's the ying bonus? Do we have anywhere that I can see what the ying bonus of a place would be? Or, uh, there, there's yin. Growth plus 10, construction cost reduction, and control. Okay. Just wonders, you know it. Yeah, I could have looked at the building browser too. Yeah, thank you. So growth, the other one gives us more military type stuff. That also reduces our research speed. Um, all right, we'll go into Yang then. Okay. Oh, <laughs> we we have to sell this Welcome, again. Outlander. What brings your kind to these? Okay. Okay. Sorry there. I hold on to your capital. It's actually going to make it so that, uh, you're not going to be doing as well as you should be doing. Sorcery. I've had your capital for 11 turns, you know, but yeah. Uh, so the blue armor will hand that over to a Ram. Gambler's armor. Descended so that I'm mage. from celestial glory. A tool worthy of a dragon. So whose army do I want to put Ink Boy into? Heaven's servant. You know what? We should use him to steal technology. Let's just not have him in an army for a little bit. Favorite wizard of Shen Yong. We gotta get our research going, so. Yeah, we'll do that. And then we could always embed him for this fight and then take him back out and start stealing technology again. Uh, up here, let's see. We'll do control. Hex auto, we'll get rid of that. We're not recruiting any jade warriors, right? Actually, I think he is. So we'll replace that. Uh, do I want to keep the hail gunner place? I mean, I need more money more so. Yeah, screw it. The dragon blooded. Serve we don't need them right now. Ancestors. Okay. The I think that's good. Any other trade stuff we can do this turn? No. Favored child of the nine. The celestial. Strength rank fine. Doing doing well, brother. Doing well. Strength rank twenty six. 
a little not as well. She's got to have it much worse now that the Chaos Dwarves are north of her. King Boy, the corporate spy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I might do that too. Yeah. We're eventually going to get there. He's about to get to the level where he's just going to get extra rep with, with Cathay. We have the armor now, so they probably will anyway. <laughs> yeah, the dissenters sail across the whole sea. Yeah. Uh, actually, they might be wiped out before we get anything from it. So yeah, we should declare war on them. Let me think of it. Of the All right, here's our ticket to maybe, depending on what what's going on here, maybe get on Marathi's good side. Some people would say Marathi only has good sides. Those people are perverts. So, uh, yeah. What do you want? Clan Grittus. I am contemplating. All right, we'll join the war against Clan Grittus. Time is of the essence. You know what? Let's me let me make sure that's who's there. <laughs> Declare the war war. Yes, yes. It is a burden being an executioner. Ah, they're there. It's a hundred. Yeah, there's no way that's not them. All right. What do you want? Pay me it for it though. Naturally. 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 We lost some strength rank. Celestial ancestors. The Emperor's architect. They're not there. <laughs> she raised it. What are you doing raising it? Alright. It's take me forever to build it up to give to you. Keeper. Oh, she didn't raise it. It was it was these jerks. Friggin' beastmen. Mother of the dark Man, I don't even get any experience off that. I was wanting to fight some Skaven. Great. Her enemy's actually doing better than normal as well. Thanks to her unfortunately getting a beastman spawn. Well, that backfired a little bit. Sure we fine though. I stand ready. Alright, steel technology. Are you serious? We got a 50-50 critical failure, Ink Boy. <laughs> How? What what kind of research did you did you do? Well, all right. Leader of men. Apparently push should have put him in the army. Windshaper. Well, that sucks. All right. Let's go kill these guys. Got a massive paper cut. Uh, Rest while we can. Uh, they don't have any spells, so we should probably just fight this. We don't want to lose anything. Kind of a mad scientist type. Yeah, what did you mix together? Whatever it was, it exploded. Burn the bridge. That's right. We'll burn that bridge when we get there. Can't believe the beastman blew up her stuff over there. Marathi's not actually doing as well as she normally would. Man, I don't know. I don't want to get in a war with Marathi. But if she's on the back foot, we could quickly take some of those provinces, hand them over to um, to Mother Astinkia, and then our north is secure forever. But that's the opposite direction of where the long blood campaign the wants us to go, right? So I don't know. Uh, what do we have? We have a lot of stuff coming. All right. Of the winds. We fight so she has speed reduction, cloak of jet, which is night stalking unstoppable. Blossom of wind. Okay. Shogun Special way to make mustard and want to try it out. <laughs> You heard about the mustard scented gas? Yeah. Well, oh, I tried it. Do not recommend. Yeah. 
Dead Dan, thank you for the 11 months. That's almost a full calendar year. Dragons, Commander. For real. It's always for real, and I would never lie to you guys. You boy dies, yeah, yeah. <laughs> kind of ridiculous. Very ridiculous, actually. I like how they why didn't they let us set up like this earlier today when we were doing that start of this campaign before and we had reinforcements they're like nope we're not letting you but now when they're dead either way right. what's the website to check for deals again uh is there any deal.com you can see the historical low where it's lowest currently on any websites you can set alerts for not a not like affiliated with them at all but i i have used it quite a bit repositioning a new car as one born of dragons my chosen place archers sent by dragons thoughts in harmony Worst among many! Bathe in celestial light! Oh, the cast on that is super slow. What? Holy crap. And then the actual missile is really fast. Alright, well, the more you know, I guess. Jeez, it goes like forever. It's slower startup than burning head. Which is kind of crazy. More you know. Oh, 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 I don't have you guys on guard mode. Whoop. As one, repositioning. This is the way. Maneuvering. At once. Staying low. Fire in the blood. Celestial general. Swift and yes. And I was not expecting the slow startup on that. Holy crap. So way slower to start up than even Burning Head, but uh, it does last a long time, so that's nice. And I haven't played League of Legends in forever. What was the name of the croc guy in League of Legends? I used to like using him at top lane like 11 years ago. <laughs> this guy's reminding me of him. Renekton. Yeah, there we go. Thank you. And I haven't thought about that in a long time. Renekton. And look how tanky this guy is. Jesus. It's been a while since we played a faction that have really good uh, melee heroes, but we'll get to green skins next. I got some good melee heroes. God, that guy is taking like a th more than a thousand arrows, I would say. of Yucky. Uh oh, we lost eight units. What did we lose? Must have been some peasants. Yeah, those guys. Need to work across the battlefield. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I gotta get used to that cast. I was not expecting that at all. All right, is that your last settlement? Yes, 
All right, Mazdamundi, dead, and his only crime? Living in a capital that I needed. Oh, there's another thing there, too. So here's the compass thing. It also gives hero capacity plus two, Astromancer, his magic powers are plus one per turn, all armies, spell resist, and a, a ritual to activate this dormant direction of the Wujing compass. Enemy forces, uh, that's like the, um, uh, the Wood Elves. So we actually, after we build this, we have to defend the area. Interesting. To play it a lot. I did too, quite a bit in the first, in the beta and in the first two seasons. So it's been a long time. Once the magic power reserve plus 10, all armies, lower recruit rate plus one, research rate 12%. Right now though, we need money. Hey, we're positive. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. What? How many? The so next turn, we'll be able to upgrade there. Uh, level 11, right? Yep. I really thought he was going to get to level 12 off this, but guess what? There was nothing there. I grow impatient at these constant interruptions. She's not at war with... Uh... Mother Astankia yet, or the High Elves. Did we make it up here faster than I realized? Turn 15, hmm. Mage is going to be... This is the first for me. So much One of our side legendary... Our lords are going to be a higher level than our legendary lord, if I'm not careful. Force, not that that really matters, I guess, but... It's always a weird thing. Ogres, you just chill. You just chill. Don't be attacking him. My ancestors require it. Child of so let's nine. upgrade her front line. Attention. Same thing here. Upgrade his front line. A fine addition to my armory. Yeah, we lost that hero, huh? That's a tier two. More income. Nice. We're still saving the stones. I stand upon you are deemed worthy of so all right uh Attention. celestial loyalists this is really interesting because we could sell these to Mao Ying if we don't want to keep them or this could be our ticket back into Cathay he has two armies I'm not done there. She's actually doing really well. He's got General. two armies. We he has this entire province too. And I might do that. Is that all he has? Stumble through diplomacy together. Yeah. Hmm. I know I said we were gonna concentrate on the long victory, which we are, but. Hey, we'll go to war with these guys for you. Thanks. And I think I'm going to do that. Uh, these ones are going to be unhappy that we confederated, but we're getting so much rep with them right now, and we already have trade agreements. I don't think it's going to matter. MP provinces could give us some money. Yeah, at first, it's going to hit our money pretty hard. Because he's got two armies, but I mean, we can, we can afford that. And if it really came down to it, we could sell to Mao Ying for like crap we might even could get uh confederation with her by getting so much rep from just gifting her these gifting yeah i think i'm gonna do that while we have the option like even if we lose them it doesn't matter so yeah let's do that instrument of the divine let us stumble through diplomacy together i am glad all right let's see what that did to us Minus 5k. Celestial General. How's Sneak doing? He's not doing super great. What armies do you have? Magistrate reporting. Okay. Hmm. 
Mm. I come with the might of he's still just, he's strange rank six. You cannot stop me. Cheater. Cheater. We already know that though. Um Leader of Men. There is wisdom in this. Oh, he hasn't Indeed. No no, that's not him. I serve the dragon. Hmm. Oh, here's another the army. I didn't see this one. Stands ready. They require... Okay. Uh, let's see. Men, to your exercises. I will not have a day wasted. They also have one that's dead. Be on guard. So they have that guy there. We saw. This Celestial one. Okay. general. Uh. Attention. They're probably going to declare war on us. How many, wait, how many settlements this day has? Only four. So he basically has that hill area down to Zing, Jingpo. So I'm trying to decide whether I get rid of this army too, or if I go use this one. Can we, we can afford the 3,400 for a turn and see what the Skaven do from there. Taking out Sneech's capital and then using that for our own stuff or gifting it to either of the other siblings might be a good idea too. Um, and then we would get more than 5k out of it. God, if we can snipe, I don't think we can though. Wait, what happened? Uh, no, we we confederated someone in Cathay. General. So he can still run this turn, even though he's in the underway. Never liked that change very much, but. Trickery is unbecoming, but necessary. All right, let's see what happens here. Victory lies ahead. We'll just uh, we'll just let that income disparity go for a turn. What would she give us for that, like, you stand right now? The matriarch once more. Ooh. She doesn't have a lot to give us. 113. That's crazy. Crazy. She's not even at war with the people north of the gate yet. She's only at war with Sneech. Check your weapons. Hmm. Again. This allows us to globally recruit Jade Warrior Crossbowmen even over there, which is kind of nice. Uh, armor pierc piercing missiles. I'm trying to think of what we'd be fighting over here. We'd be fighting a lot of dread shards, bleak swords, stuff like that, right? Uh, okay. Let's see what happens, I guess. No kingdom Gunners are bad, yeah. yeah. How close is this to tier three? Because then we can get cannons. Uh, it's not super close. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. Okay. Where's your wild? Will we, will we be the Lord of Weijin? No, I want to finish the compass. Trillion. But aren't you just one? I am Trillion. Lady, don't you want to take out the Beastmen? Nah, they're cool. Don't worry about it. I know they're blowing up my province, but... What is Sneech's defeat trait? I wonder if it'd be worthwhile to sit over here and wait till Sneech comes out and then pounce on him. Possibly. Possibly. Those armies are just costing us money anyway. We can throw them away pretty much. Well, like I literally threw one away. And then if we want, we can just sell the stuff from there. No one has ever managed to kill him. 
are a jewel to smooth as if smoke. On aggression? No, not yet. Oh, Nakai is starting to push up as normal. Korok, man ripper. This is one of the bad sides of seeing on both sides of the world here. Like, oh, you want to see what's happening over here? You want to see what's happening over there? Replenish forces, more cargo, more cargo. I need money. I need money. I think that was the Blessed Dread starting enemy that finally. The Jade Dragon. Is she not going to take those from them? I'm really tempted to just march him up there and really shouldn't, though. I... These are inhospitable to us, and our long campaign lies south, so it's like... I, I really should bring him back and work on getting rid of Skeggy here. And I kind of want him in this fight because I need him to level up. All right. Sprinting towards danger. Soldiers, take up positions. Hmm. Descended from celestial glory. You can reach the Ziggurat of Dawn, but then he Switch. might attack. Hmm. I don't like you just sitting here, though. It's never uh, we could take out the ogre encampment right now. But then that ogre might attack this next turn. I doubt it, though. Is she going to have enough movement to go into encamp after this? No. Dragon blooded sugar. Well, sucks. I hate sitting around. All right. Mm. They serve me well. Make, make, kill things. Yeah, I need to use these armies for something. Like I said, even if we sell this to her, it will actually help her over here anyway to get stronger. And if we can federate her, it's just all around going to be good for us. Unfortunately, this Ming Zhu place is probably gone if we do this. Another problem is the these guys have movement still. It benefits the Empire. Almost feels like I need to wait another turn, but man, this is a lot of money. A lot of money. The magistrates can watch from the rear, but fighting or dying, I inspire my men. Advance! Mm. Does she go before them? I think Good. she does. Yeah, I'm not sure what I want to do there. They've got to declare on us soon anyway, right? Our blood in dirt. Yeah, this is we're spending way too much, especially with this not being part of the, the dragon long campaign. So I think I I'm going to declare on them and I will sell this to her and we can always get it back, hopefully. We even have her as a military ally. All right, let's see what happens. Do you seek the storm dragon's wisdom or strength? Uh, let's get military access also. Cathay's <laughs> Now the question is, do we want to try this attack? What do they have? It seems like these armies aren't super crazy. First among warriors. City commander. Seeking tactical advantage. Yeah, they're running. The Jade Dragon's humility. Do we have enough movement to catch that one? Spreads Cathay's light. Nope. General of the Celestial Host. Okay, well, I mean, if we had enough movement, we wipe both of them, but we don't have enough movement. And now we don't have the ability to go into... Stupid, stupid. 
into ambush. That one does, but subterfuge is the order. I serve the dragon. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see how that works out, I guess. And this is probably gone if they go first. Even so, I don't think she can catch them. So we might as well just go ahead and sell this, get money from it. We got it for free anyway. The struggle against a great enemy must be fought on multiple fronts. So we could already go defensive alliance. 1997, either way. Yeah, let's do that. Acceptable. Okay. Now maybe on our way to confederating her. That doesn't help us with our money this turn, but I guess it kind of softens the blow a little bit. Yeah, I'm not using your stuff yet. Uh, Tier 3, and then we want to rush construction on this. Okay. This is a time of misery. And let's get this building. Unlock recruitment of those new celestial lines, which seem pretty decent. Also, extra research, and we can actually... Uh, recruit Astromancers. Ooh, boy. I almost hope we lose those armies over the intern, to be honest. Holy crap, what is this? There's three? Control plus 10, growth plus 5, faction wide, income from all buildings 10%, harmony plus 1, yin. Upkeep reduction for celestial stuff. Recruit cost reduction. Recruit rank plus four for them. Control plus two faction wide. Plus three with Cathay. Three landmarks. It's kind of crazy. I'm probably going to lose this place too. Maybe I shouldn't have gotten rid of that. That way it sells for more. Oh well. We'll see. Outpost. Uh, so the good thing about having an ally that's the same faction as you is you actually have buffs for those units. So if we put a outpost somewhere where she's getting high tier units, we can just like recruit the Jade Crossbow, but we're really poor right now. We gotta wait on that. When does our caravan get back? Two more turns. I don't know. One. This is uh, their captain person that they had. He confederated. Okay. All right. So now we wait for these two to go over to steel so we can use all four. Yes. Four. And make a military area. Uh, military, whatever. Stronghold. Lord of Wei Jin. So she is going first. And she's just going to go park at that settlement. I was hoping she would attack these Skaven armies. They might end up getting an ambush attack on us. Especially because they have a third army nearby. Okay, he did not try it. Neither of them tried it. They probably have an army parked at Kunlan, Kunlan whatever it is. Crap. Now we spent another 4k on this army over the intern. <laughs> Hunts Marshall, don't care. Rest of you, don't care. Fast forward through. On behalf of my select. Non aggression. Okay. We'll take your money now. Agreed. Glad you're on, on board with this. We'll take your money. Agreed. It is greedy. Who's Skanky at war with? What? An executioner. Time is lacking. Whichever woeful deity. He's at war with a dread fleet. Ends here. We That's interesting. Darkness. All right, she's now taking those. Okay. Uh, war with the ogres. No one else is at war with them. We gotta get some experience on him. Delicate. Nice of low. Yeah. 
eager for battle. Actually low for a change. We Take that money. Sorry, planet. Make use of the armies. <laughs> Master of the meteor wind. Okay. The dragon's command. We actually lose two peasants. They have a stone horn. They have lead belchers. Uh, what's the map? Oh, okay. Right. Ogre settlement. Honestly, we might lose two peasants. Uh, anyway. I don't think the crowmen are going to kill the lead belchers in melee. I would say not. Yeah, I think I'm just going to trade the two peasants. If it was a field battle, and yeah, nothing else really got injured. If it was a field battle, I would have fought them. Chungus has been wiped out. Sorry, Chungus. Uh, you're going to take attrition over the intern, unfortunately. Nothing I can do about it. Fly the Emperor's flag. For the Imperial family. Occupy any passes. Okay, we'll start bringing you guys over this way. Dragon. It is Click too far. All right, Skaven. Cafe Eternal. Warriors, sons. Oh boy. <laughs> For honor, not fame. No need, my wolf. It's only tier two right now, though. I he has a few armies there, though. Okay, we'll run that army out of the way. It's still within reinforce range. Can you reach it? Yes, yes, you can. I'm just trying to use these armies up as efficiently as we can to get our... Or, uh, not really as efficiently as I can. As much as I can on this auto-resolve setup. Uh, he's probably going to come hit that. Hang on, what does this look like now? It's giving us a victory on the next turn on that. We are Cathy's mm. bastion. This army is probably dead next turn. Feet of fire. Our path is clear. Whatever they have. All right, there we go. Upkeep minus 30% just for his army though. Campaign movement plus 30%, casualty replenishment plus 5. Nice. Useful tool in the right hands. Uh, we want to save his points now as well. Shaper of the eight winds. Finish off the melee units for them. Leader of men. And let's grab this leader of men thing. Who are you? Oh, right. He's the one that we just kind of used up his stuff. Um, we'll help you in this next fight. Oh, what? He gets stuff down here? Already? Inspired defense. Active ability. Melee defense plus 24. Leadership plus 16. X allies in range 1. And then inspired assault. is charge bonus. Melee attack. Marksmanship. Accuracy and reload skill. Uh, Grand Tactician. Oh, that's what people were talking about earlier. Okay. Surely a gift from the dragon. Okay, we've evened that up a little bit. Architect. I said no. I don't want to spend your points yet. The dragon's love is in doubt. So Hexodal already ready to go to tier two. Okay. 
And I really can't afford an outpost yet. I mean, kinda, but... I don't know. A little iffy. A little iffy. Actually, surprised they still have the turtle gate. The other two gates have fallen, though. Actually, that actually both is, yeah, the one you were talking about with the sniper cannons, yeah. Yeah, Mao Ying. Yeah, why stay here and help fight the Skaven that you're at war with that I agreed to help you with? Let's hang out places instead. I want to recruit new units. She gotta defend the wall. She's not even at well, she might actually be now. She wasn't at war. Uh oh. What? He moved up and they didn't do that. You're on it, why help? <laughs> We're siblings. You know what? On second thought, that might actually make it so she's less likely to help. That you guys are doing. Defend the wolves. Yeah, she was only at war with Sneech, but now, come on, Colonel Gate. Okay. That might have already changed. Defend the wolves. My agents return, and the reports are as dire as I fear. Uh, this requires my personal attention. Wonder who he's fighting. Hmm. It sounds like he's fighting Cathay, actually. Casualty plus just 20 or 10%. What is his control plus for local province? Control plus win all provinces. Web strength 8%. Dragon's Fang. The problem with this is we have the Von Karstein Blade, which is better. But we could give that to someone else. Yeah. We might end up doing that eventually. I'm not, I'm not sure, though. Uh, Vegemite, I'm not using your points yet. Leave me alone. Okay. An upper hand, indeed. Eighteen turns on that, huh? There we go. Warrant of trade: sell value of cargo plus fifteen percent, income from trade tariffs plus twenty percent, faction wide. Nice. Lots of good stuff. Oh my God, where's Zags back? Uh, you might I be happy to be. know, by the way, that the next playthrough, I believe, is going to be Wurzeg. So you better be here for that one. Serve from You're the not front. the boss of Wurzeg. Enforce the dragon's will. Ziggurat of Dawn. Lord of Yin and Yang. Who's at war with you? Blessed Dread. Uh, we haven't met them yet, so... Servant of the dragons. A step to the front line. Look, it's been a while since I played as green skin. I do. I, I did really enjoy them. I haven't played them in a really long time, but I did enjoy them. One of my favorite I... units to use was uh, just taking like two groups of nasty skulkers and just Marching putting them behind the enemy to start with and just tearing things up <laughs> and then smoke bomb and get out of there. I see. Something fun about it. Wurzeg, the great I green prophet. Do we want to bring Mage up for this Not too pain. so they can get some experience? Natural authority. She needs to get casualty replenishment though is the thing. If we do that, Mm. It suits my Let's just go here. Wind shape. Your deaths for Cathay. Uh, let's see. Should probably also play this one, honestly. Yeah. All right. I'll be right back while this one loads in. 
I don't remember, yeah. Someone earlier was saying that um, having more people there actually gives overall more experience, but I don't know what the exact numbers are. Or if that's true or not. But yeah, if anyone knows how that works as far as the experience share when you, not through Mentor, but when you actually have extra lords in the fight, I feel, I, I mean, it is shared to some extent, but you get more overall, or they just increase the cap on experience. So if it's a big battle, everyone gets more. I'm not sure how it works exactly. All right, I'll be right back. More lords give more total experience. 20% for attacking lord, 25% for each lord joining. Uh, interesting. So it's never, it's always a good idea to have more lords attacking. I, for some reason, I always thought that some of the experience was shared in a way that like one of the lords is actually getting less than they would if they had hit on their own. But if it's completely shared like that, then yeah, that's... I guess it makes sense though, because when I was doing the Bretonia campaign, it, it wasn't like we... Like, from the very early stages of that game, I had um, four lords always together. And it wasn't like they were way under-leveled, so... Yeah. It is interesting, though. Alright, uh, actually, let's have you on to... We're on the offense, so they're probably just going to let us bring our reinforcements in. We also have an item now that our reinforcement time is less, so minus 40%, I think it was. It's only a minute to join in here now instead of like a minute and a half, minute 50, whatever it would have been. Faster, meet your wings. Jade officer. Praise the dragon! A little overkill. It's a little. Praise the dragon. Jade dragon moving. Celestial general. Clearing the way. Warriors. Shenyang Denza. Seeking Cathay's foes. Set by dragons. Archers. Uh, where's our puppy? There he is. It's a kitten! I know, it looks like a food dog to me, okay? It's a jade lion! It's literally a feline! 
puppy. You can see the bounds power. Yeah, it is interesting that it that's one of the things they don't show on Legendary. I've always kind of wondered. I guess it's so that you don't know exactly like where you are. How you're like doing, I guess. I don't, I don't know. Seems like a, one of the weird things that Legendary gets rid of, but or very, I guess very hard, right? Those uh, battles don't go up to Legendary. Positioning is all. all right. They let us get everyone set up. Now they're on their way. <laughs> I'm surprised that does so much damage, actually. We're not even specced into it or anything. Probably should have hit the skin wolf instead. It's uh, kind of meaty, yeah. yeah. Blessings of change. Bring in harmony. Move in formation. Emperor's execution. Full force engagement. The heavens bring celestial wrath. I pen. Okay, let's execute that guy. He's dead. Get over here. Burn a horse. Get away from that guy. I don't think we really need to chase too much down, right? This is a settlement battle or a minor settlement or whatever. Delete that guy. Yeah, it's kind of... So was it 50%? Someone was saying earlier that they thought initially the um, his skill tree when it came out had it up to a 50% execute, which is really insane. I mean, 33% is already insane. But yeah, I can't even imagine it at half health and you kill them. <laughs> What's crazy too is it looks like when we get his final rank of the execute thing that anything other under 20%, any single unit under 20% health, he executes just with any damage to them. And so you can use the execute ability just to get them down to 20% and then just smack them and they just fall over. Probably wrong. Uh, you, yeah, so maybe you were thinking about the range. There was a 50% range increase, including spells. Yeah, nutty. Initially, it was 20% with a 0.05% chance to trigger on random HP levels. Ooh, that would be, be kind of interesting. That's almost like the air trigger thing from XCOM. Take this Sometimes the stars align just insta-kill <laughs> like at a high... You think it might have been like that? You're also not sure if you remember correctly. Gotcha. Yeah, no worries. A timely arrival. So they have a ship out. We saw a ship go out. So we have to be careful. If I take all this and then I just like head on out without making sure their factions wiped. Hey, now she's down here. You have one minute. Hurry up. And I don't know. I'm contemplating killing you. Yeah. Maybe we should just get rid of Marathi. I don't, I don't know. We have both options. Like, I can give her this and have a peace agreement that will probably give us 20 turns before she attacks. Or I could just wipe her and hand her stuff over to Ostankia and never have to worry about the North again. Wait, did he go in an ambush stance there? Is that what that... Is that what happened? Unsheathed blades. <laughs> We can see him reinforcing an ambush stance. Marching to war. 
She's kind of far from Kislev. Yeah, she is. Lord Magistrate, reporting. We must replenish. So that knocked him out of uh, ambush stance. Us just looking at that. Wipe them. Shao Dongmin. <laughs> Good strong family name. Yeah, screw it, man. These are just throwaway armies for us, so. I wasn't even planning on... Maybe I shouldn't have them as throwaway armies. I'm just playing recklessly with them because I was trying to... to get some money out of Cathay and then get back out, but it's going better than I thought. Lord Magistrate. So, and rest is I don't know. I mean, we're almost positive and maybe I shouldn't have sold that to her. Crap. Attention. Hey, uh, General. Mao Ying, can I have this back? I was just kidding. <laughs> I was just kidding. Region bonus too. Yeah. And then we get, um, we get the extra research for having another city. Yeah. And then another city here too. Hmm. Take it back and sell it again. Uh, we, so that would general. well. If we get enough of these, you can actually do that with him, right? You stand before the supreme matriarch once more. Hey, we changed our mind. She's like, nope. No double crossing. I mean, I could, but then that would screw us over. In in other ways, we'll just we'll just hold it for now and see what happens. I guess. I'm not going to name those guys yet, though. Uh, all right, level 12. So we will get the upgrade for the Jade Warrior or Jade stuff in general here. Celestial General. And then armor or weapon strength. Let's go armor. Few would turn down such weaponry. Celestial Guard. This is the one. So they they put Inspire Recruitment. They I did. That's unfortunate. Uh, let's grab sure aim. With that, I would leave. Actually, oh my god, he has so many Jade warriors. I govern in the emperor. This is that other one over there, right? Yeah, Lord Magistrate. Um, surely a gift from the dragons. Huh. Serve from the front. Yeah, I mean, I guess we might as well stay over there. I was not planning to. But it's already been more than worth it. Okay, outpost in Nengao. Caravan's ready. So the next place I want to send the caravan. Oh, this is his. Do I want to go ahead or do I send this or wait the two? This guy has better upgrades for more stuff. We'll just wait. Wait. All right. Any trades up? All right. My arrow. No, I don't want any with you. Storm. Yes. Yeah. Give me out of this menu, please. Thanks. So we gotta keep an eye for Skeggy returning. Dragon-blooded Shugunga. Is it horsemen? Let, let me take a look at these. Armor 15, so it's basically a peasant. It's like literally a peasant on a horse. I don't know what I was expecting. Alright. Interesting. But yeah, it's in the name. <laughs> peasant horseman. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know. Felt like there was gonna be something else there. Good observation. <laughs> Do you think it was a horse man that had a peasant? Usually, though, those ones will have like a other in different increased stats, but it's pretty much just extra speed for being on a horse. Otherwise, it's quite identical, really. 
How are you doing down here, by the way? Welcome, Outlander. Not too great. Bojack Horseman. Confederate her, yeah. Yeah, hopefully we'll be able to get that. I mean, it's not part of the... I shouldn't be over here anyway. I even said that we, should, we need to focus on the long campaign, and that's the reason I left here in the beginning, and now I'm back. But, I mean, we have enough over here that is giving us more money now than what we're spending over here, so we might as well keep it at this stage. Better than a peasant donkey man. <laughs> Oh, there's Sneech, level 11. So he's raiding at the bottom of that province. Yeah. Uh, I don't... Well, we, we kind of want to see if Skeggy comes back, so I can't really fast-forward through everything. Village is 13. He now... Oh, and then his... His vassal owns one of the other gates, okay. Skeki is like at the end of this list, right? Did you need What's up, something? Philip? No. No. She probably has the giant hero in her arena. Oh, I kind of forgot about that. Yeah. How do we get him? Grandmother knows best. Corruption minus five. Recruit 30 units. Hmm. Five caravan journeys. It's just a quest pop up, okay. Sorcery through me. Fans are afoot. With the dragon's fang. Death by my hand. Ah. Instrument of the divine. Can each of us get one, or is it possible that the AI gets it and we don't? That would suck. Definitely want to uh, try that out. Advance without heroics. So yeah, if we can we share our experience three ways, we might as well bring her up here. Screw that. Wherever Cathay needs me. He's a legendary hero, yeah. That would suck. Threat. All right, another yeah. province yeah. capital. So increasing our research again. Aram just got his flying mount. Nice. First flying mount. So Sneak's is down there. We don't have enough range. Man, he's got a really weak army too. Servant of the dragons. Observe he's gonna run. Hopefully we have enough movement to go I'll into front stance. Or ooh, so close. So close. Oh, we can reach him. <laughs> it's so crazy that these were just going to be literal throwaway armies like ah let's just get rid of these they're costing us money we got them for free but now we're starting to push sneaks down and eliminate him possibly a fine addition to my armor battle is not yeah that's crazy just uh some peasants going mainly and then we can combine these are like yeah, and if we spend up some of this and combine these, that would be ideal. So this wipes him, and we get to see what his defeat trait is. You are Cathay's now. Hero Ashen success, chance plus 4% local region, and stalk. <laughs> we have a celestial general with stalk. Okay. Dog is not fun on lords. Uh, it can depend, but yeah. It used to be a lot better when you could use it to cheese settlements. I did an entire sneak playthrough where literally he and two assassin heroes would climb the walls on the opposite side and just run back to the capture thing 
and they would just stand there and capture it and they would never get back there in time <laughs> it was it was really really silly but in all things i admit it was kind of fun kind of fun celestial general ancestors guide us let's hand some of this off in case he gets sniped here dongman dongman well fought man Need you to stop having fun. So what else does he have up here? Control plus five, local, construction cost reduction, all buildings, faction wide. Construction time reduction, local. Okay. Good actually issues. Plus 25 with humans and high elves. We could send someone over to the donut and get a bunch of trade there. So that's a pretty good one. Hero action success plus 15%. Hero capacity plus two for Aster answers, which we're about to be able to recruit them. Spell intensity plus 20. I'm thinking about trying out getting quite a few of these uh lions but i don't know if i want to fully spec into them especially because the jade ones are so brittle Rank is useful. Wait, I don't have a rank. All right. Spell resist hero capacity. Your action success increase. Diplomatic relations, leadership, character aura, troll construction, construction, spell intensity. This one is flaming attacks for the moon birds. Uh, number of ability uses plus two for the compass and bonus versus infantry for the lions. Hmm. Uh, let's go ahead and get the diplomatic relations with high elves. We're really close to the to the donut, so I feel like we might as well do that. If we're doing that, we might as well get the spell intensity. That, uh, I know he's not casting very much, but even this at level 1 is doing some work, and that's just gonna make it even better for sniping Lord, so I don't think I'll regret any of that. We can think about what we want to build his army around. Dragon. Okay, gate master. Go ahead and get that. Instrument of the divine. Aram. Uh, his attacks causing melee and defense decrease. We'll grab that. I would take that to defend my soldiers. So, yeah, if these guys survive another round, I guess I'll just name them. As well, we'll get sure aim on you. Addition to my arsenal. All right, how close are we to getting this done? Next turn, we'll be able to recruit the Jade and Onyx Lions ourselves, and we'll also be able to push this to a military district. So yeah, maybe we will try them out. Most thought after Cathay Lord trait. I don't know, yeah. You mean like defeat trait from someone else, or like just passive trait? It's kind of crazy that this... Let me... First where is warriors. it? It's kind of crazy that the ambush one for Cathay is 35%. It's insane. 35% ambush success chance. But uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Not sure what all they have access to. Leadership in the army is always good. Melee attack and defense in the army is always good. But yeah, I'm not sure. Um, Let's start getting growth going here. And if we go this route, we get... A little bit extra research speed, so let's go that that way. Skeggy, uh, same thing. Do that. And it available for here. We'll just go control. We don't want to stay up here very long. I'm really considering going to war with. I mean, we have to have armies up here anyway for when this is built to tier three, right? So I'm actually thinking about going to war with. Marathi I just while we're here. Reason, I, must. I could give her peace though. Like I could give her that settlement and she would be peaceful with us probably for like 20-25 turns. Or 
Christ. I'm going to keep going with the control and income. Caravan, one more turn, and then we'll do that. Yes? The Empire. What? Trade with Sterling. Yeah, we'll do that. Come then. Let's Only see what's going on over here. Hunt then we Russia. really need to get someone over to the donut. Which, we'll actually see them really quickly if we end up attacking Marathi. Alright. Yeah, I might try... Get some of those... Jade and Onyx units. Yeah, that would suck, though, if, they're, if the AI can get the legendary hero... And if they get it before you, you just don't get it. That would that would be pretty awful. Straight forward. Leader of men. Attention. Leadership plus two melee attack. I mean, yeah, I mean, especially on legendary though, since oh crap, have made time. you have um a leadership penalty. It's kind of nice to just have little things that overcome some of that to make it more like baseline right oh once marshall is not doing too great but yeah that 35 percent ambush is crazy i actually i accidentally fast forwarded through sneak so i don't know what he did i don't know where he went oh my god he always back up Oh, here it is. Satang the Watcher. All right. Who watches the Watcher? Kill 1,500 enemies in battle. All right. Well, we can definitely do that. So many dragons. So it is forbidden to talk of Don't you worry about that. An assassin cannot not serve from the front. Agreed. War is upon hey boy, level 20? No, because he failed during a um, hero action, so it doesn't, it doesn't kill them. It only wounds them, if that's the case. Marching to war. Looks familiar. Oh, it's giving us a man decisive, but we lose like so many Jade Warriors. Um, what do you have? Six minutes below. Spellcaster with 50 wins of magic. Three armies. I'll think about what we want to do. I wanted to get rid of one of these armies already, but not exactly that way. <laughs> they are taking a lot of money if we end up making some of those lions. Uh, so Skeggy is still alive out there, I guess. Did they take this? Oh God! A timely arrival. My warhounds haven't eaten in days. They took the galleon's graveyard. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I really don't want to have to go all the way out there and take that from them. That's kind of surprising they took that. Definitely don't want to go out there and take that from them. That would take several turns to get out there, attack it, then get back. I think I'm just going to peace out with them. Did, wait, did they lose their army doing it? Because if so, they might just lose... I uh, get wiped out by the AI. 
My warhounds haven't eaten in Yeah, I don't days. know if they... Well, they probably have one army. And they have that settlement. Uh, yeah, all right. We'll peace out with them. A timely arrival. What are you My warhounds haven't eaten in day. Done. There you go. So, that should keep us safe over there on the coast for right now. And now, I guess we'll think about pushing Morathi. There is a shipwreck we could grab too. Check the sea. Yeah, we'll go ahead and grab that next turn. Here's thing, boy. See if he has a critical failure again. Celestial ancestors. Fight and be recompensed. Okay. Uh, what about our capital down here? Get this to tier three. Yeah, I think I'm actually going to fight her. That's the case. We will eventually gift this since it's inhospitable. We'll probably gift it to Kislev. I guess we might as well get some money out of it in the meantime. Okay. Uh, this place is imbalanced with Yang at the moment, so we will put a Yin building here. Uh, let's do money. All right, so here we go. The next one I want to go to is another money-making one. It's oh, Scrag has it down there. I think this is it, right? Mir Mirbadons? Mirbadons? Yeah, okay. All right, all right. We Lots going on. Are. So, Child of the you can confederate night. another group. Turtle Gate people. Mm. Eh. What was the world like in the celestial's time? Oh crap! I didn't do the attack. That's the second time this playthrough I've done that, where I set up a encircle or siege. I'm like, all right, I need to come back to this and figure out what I want to do later in the turn, and then I forget. <laughs> well, 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 we might lose that army after all. Mal's ready now. She just wanted to build up like five armies before she came back and helped. Don't worry. Go before you incur the celestials. Well, Marathi is declaring war. Well, I mean, we were going to declare on her anyway, but. Gonna go have more stuff. Yeah, it'll just be the gates, though. All right. So our armies are not good against Dark Elf armies right now. Getting some of those Onyx Lions, because I think they have the Missile Reflect the Bound skill. Oh, he's getting out of here. Okay. This ended up working out fine anyway. Now was down to two settlements, almost completely dead. The Force of Chaos, where you could help her. Wow. You just never yeah it's it's so that's one of the things i really like about the game is even the same campaign played the same exact way can turn out very different depending on so many different things like what the ai recruits which even like what hero and lord traits they end up getting with some of their early heroes and lords can really change you can change one auto resolve for them and that snowballs them in a different direction or screws them over like always interesting Bad catch. Uh, yeah, it depends. Um, depends on if my daughter needs driven to her band thing tonight. 
last couple times she's actually had a friend take her, but we'll see. Imminent rebellion, yeah. <laughs> Hmm. As much as I want to grab that, I don't think we should right now. All right. What? 25%? What the crap? Let's see what's over here. Yeah, I need to get over here to fight her instead. So. Dragon speed. Master of Feng Shi. Adorn my chamber in finery. General! Loyal novices are better than uncertain veterans. It benefits the Empire. Back half, you should say? Yeah, at least the back half. Yeah, for sure. Duty calls. Unsheath blades. I'm to touch number three. Change originally dropped. Uh, he's very, very strong. Yeah. Surprised to no one being a DLC Lord. But I haven't played incredibly well today. Partially because I just have not been feeling well, but just in general, not, not playing super well today. Okay, so do we get him now? But uh, yeah, it's and it's gone really well. Now we are about to hit our first real big enemy with Marathi. And she actually has armies that our peasants are not good at and we we still don't really have much more than peasants so maintain a total of six units of the following types jet lion jade lion terracotta sentinel or the green guardian and then the watcher will appear I in so we need to recruit five of those servant of the dragons <laughs> He's probably going to take Village of the Moon. Enter. Nangao's defenses are lowered for you. Harmony above all. Um. Obedience is all I ask. We need to name God. them, I guess. It looks like we're going to end up keeping them. This is my caravan master, right? Okay. So sell value increase on his cargo. I should have fought that fight with him. It's ridiculous. He takes that much damage. But I saw like four ogres. It was like, ah, we'll, we'll take basically nothing. No, nope. just kidding. So again, this is one of those new guys. Humility in all things. Leader of men, extra armor. Few would turn down such weaponry. Another one of the new guys. A tool of great efficiency. All right, so we can actually start recruiting these. I need to recruit five of them. Maybe I should disband that guy's army over there. Wizard, you've made it. Oh, the VIP, I see. Yeah, you really need to, to add those. Um, Hang on, let me make a note. It's on my, like, endless to-do list, which I'll never get to, so... See here. V I P. Be able to get that done at least by Monday. Wait, how much is the recruitment on these guys? Upkeep alone is 300. We need at least five of them. Hmm. Hmm. Ramnam, 24 months, almost whole calendar year, almost two whole calendar years, almost. Oh, right, uh, we have the four steel. I need to use that on this. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So Fortress City, we use that here. This will be our recruitment hub. So now we're gonna end up having five total. So now when these get to four, we'll make another place uh production hub. So did you hear back, Modwife? Man, maybe I just dismiss that for now over here. Why am I scrolling that way? I don't know. 
It's more important that we get that legendary hero. Master of the province. I don't know. These guys are doing work, though. Hmm. Either way, I don't have the funds to recruit a bunch of them this turn. So let's upgrade some money buildings. This one, we need a Yang building. Uh, okay. mm. <sighs> we might end up selling that still. I'm not sure. I'm going to do anything with it right now. I know I already rebuilt that once, so don't want to do that again. Minute Rebellion, yeah, there's nothing we can do about that. It might actually be better if they take it before Marathi does, anyway. Peasants are ridiculously strong, bringing tier 0 units better than most tier 1, even some tier 2. Uh, if they have the Harmony bonus, they're, they're okay. Well, there's a lot of skill tree stuff for them, too. So, yeah, if you get all the peasant skill tree or research, and you have someone that's buffing them... And you have them with Battle Harmony, they're they're pretty good for tier zero, yeah. I would say so. They're picking up for the club and dropping off? Okay. I'm sure they're this wasn't like a like before where it's a surprise to them. <laughs> Honored in, thank you for the resub. Wanna make sure to use your prime? Thank you. Gonna forget. Yeah, I really wish they'd make it so prime was uh automatic. But I um, have my doubts they'll ever do that. Love. There's Marathi. Make sure no confusions. Okay. Make sure takes everything she needs then. Toothbrush. Hoodie. All that. What time do you want to do dinner then? Who will ever add a free membership thing like Twitch does? I don't know. Yeah. I kind of always thought it was... um weird they didn't do like if you were a channel member maybe you shouldn't get ads at that channel kind of like a sub on twitch but i guess and yeah, i don't know it'd be nice if they did that whenever okay dragon. military access uh sure agree Turtle Gate got sacked. Replenish forces or get more cargo, more cargo. I need money. money. Oh, we got an alchemist for free. Nice. All right. Alchemist of Tactician is whatever. So she starts with Searing Doom. I think Searing Doom is a really good just base skill. She also increases uh, mobility. Nice. What are these? Missile stuff. Can she only pick one of these? Yeah. So. so she can basically buff either missiles. Oh, that's also missiles, actually. She can buff missiles in three different ways. Poison. Magic. Or fire. Interesting. All right, well, get up here. It's going to take you a while, huh? Oh, I'd really love to kill Marathi. She's only level 12. How far can you move in ambush this turn? I will oversee the supply train. Chaos and harmony can exist together in this world. Mm. The celestial commands. 
descended from celestial glory. Trust in the dragons. I am sure they plan for us. Praying boy. 28%. I'm not sure why it's so bad. 28%. 53. All right, Ingboy. Come on. I desire their research. What is wrong with you? <laughs> you cost me like a thousand, a thousand income and haven't got a single positive wasted. results. General of the Celestial Host. You can't just ask me what's wrong with them. I just, I just did. Move upon my order. All right. Hopefully, Marathi comes down here. Twins. There's a granny summon. What my dear old my granny used to say. Proud. My pleasure, Dangles. You worship Slanesh. She's a double agent. City commander. Your pleasure, Dangles. What are you talking about, granny? You know what? On second thought. Okay. Uh oh. Blessed Dread is. Doing some real pushing. Nakai is doing whatever. I can't believe this is TMI granny. I can't believe this little group over here that I literally just grabbed for some side income and planned on selling everything back really quick. As your deaths for Cathay. Taking over so much Cathay. The front line. I haven't even fought any battles with him, so I'm like, let's we'll auto resolve, kill these guys off. Whatever they get, we'll get we'll give it to Mao Ying, maybe. For Grand Cathay. Oh, don't need to. Don't need to. I serve the dragon. Like we almost have another whole province over here already. Of good climate. It's going to lead us to roar with a or war with a blessed dread, but and to village actually. Enter. We need to get her out of this war with Sneaks. So we need to wipe him out. We're saying to say, "Oh, Nakai, just, just Kai in general." You're like, "Wait, what? Not about me." The dragon blooded. Man, I really need to recruit those five lions, get that uh, legendary hero. But I don't know. Should I get rid of one of those armies? Maybe. First among warriors. What does Sneak Shav left? Is that his last place? So be it. He's going after it. Feasible, perhaps. She's gonna take it. I don't know, man. Maybe these two fight against Serve the Blessed the Dread. Dragons. They're just auto resolving through, then screw it. Why do I care? Tretch, good best Gaven Lord. Yes, yes. I've never done a campaign as Tretch. See, so one of my most played races back in Warhammer 2 was Skaven. However, I say that, but it was really like. 10 different Ikit campaigns. <laughs> and then I did play Sneak uh, in Warhammer 3, which I really liked. But I've never played Tretch or Queek or Throt. Forgetting anyone? Non aggression. Cafes. So crazy when you see the AI sack value of everything is 10k. No wonder they're so rich all the freaking time. All right, Marathi, come on. No, not that way. Yes. Wait, maybe not. Yes. <laughs> Hang on. Why are you still doing this? Oh, she is sacking herself. What do we lose? Nothing. I think she didn't see the ambushes and it's too late for her to turn back. All right. Well, Mage, you're going to get Marathi's defeat trait, whatever that is. I'm not sure, actually. Three, but they're still really good. Anything with a ambush attack stance is going to be strong no matter what, I think. Nice. That 35% extra ambush coming in super handy. 
Barble Dash? <laughs> Was that Dark Elf's name Barble Dash? Yeah, Barble Dash. Nice, strong family name, Barble Dash. Jesus, Sneaksh. Oh. Do you have a settlement down there, or...? Okay, click the other gate. Oh, chilly. You know, if I mean, it's not that big of a deal that we're up here dealing with Marathi, as long as it goes well, of course. Because the settlements that we need at tier three down in the south of Lustria, it's very probable that the owners are getting those up for us. I thought it was Barbed Lash. I think, I hope it's Barble Dash, but I think you're probably right. <laughs> Got your fly mount. Oslin lasted 23 turns. Look at you. Imperial Wardens gone. The Wardens of the Gates gone. Governor, an executioner. Uh, let's grab Missile Resist. Keep forgetting to grab that. Through me. For you, let's grab. You have a war horse now, huh? Sorcerers trouble me not. Got more weapon damage. Dragon blooded sugar gun. What rank is her army? Celestial city. So most of her units are rank five. Not on the field. Hmm. So it's going to be a little while. Let's see. They need to be rank 7 and above to get these. So points in that right now don't really do anything. We can come get this anytime. So we can either get more spells or we can go down the blue line now. I think we go spells. Yeah, getting to like, uh, well, I mean, even just the summons. Talons and I, Ancestral Warriors, all that would be really good. Grab Missile Mirror. You know what, we'll just grab all those so we have access to them. A tool worthy of a dragon. I stand. All right, Ink Boy. I will learn their secrets. Ink Boy. Marble Dash is a better name. <laughs> Eyes upon the heavens. For Christ's sake. Capture that. Okay, we'll do that. Keeper of Wuxing. This will Wait, I didn't think we were losing a unit on the auto resolve. I must have missed something. Hmm. Warriors for the Empire. Uh, what do they have here? We need to lose like nothing, so. Yeah, we're gonna fight it for real. Especially doesn't Marathi have something where she only or is that a talent point that she has to put in? Like, she's only down for a turn or two turns or something. I think she's one of the lords that can come back quickly. So she might be moved into an army with stronger stuff than the last one we beat. Well, Searing Doom is arguably the best. That'll, yeah, I really like Searing Doom. And I really, where I really learned to appreciate it a lot was when I did my Zinch campaign. Ha having the, um... Oh my god, what are they called? The the flying Zinch Lord. The starter one, you know, that's on the like hover disc. Before they get turned into a uh Lord of Change or whatever. Or, or, or Prince, Demon Prince of Zinch, I mean. Flying around dropping Searing Doom on things is super strong. Iridescent horror, thank you. Or, or. Jade or, or. Praise the Dragon Emperor. Stone and steel. I didn't see if they had. Ah, uh, no, it's just a minor settlement. Yeah, I don't. I don't need to do this. Can even spread them out some more, honestly. Your faithful, understood. 
There we saw. Is Zinch or Slanesh as a Nurgle boy? Skulls, it's been tough. I really had a lot of fun with uh, Nakari's campaign. I Earlier I was talking about how you can do some campaigns like multiple times and it's, it's different every time. I think Nakari is one of the best examples of that one. You could go so many different ways. Nakari's campaign was a lot of fun. And the dragon's name is an archer's. We're super fun as well. If it's like you're encouraged to zoom around, killing people constantly. Yeah, I think all of them are pretty fun aside from Kugath, honestly. So Thrones of Decay, I'm I'm hoping, I'm I'm sure. The new Nurgle Lord, whoever it is. I know nothing about the lore, so I have no clue who they could add. But I'm hoping that they will be more fun to use. And I'm hoping that whatever they get also bleeds over to Kugath and makes him a little bit more interesting. Oxyodol is a yeah, Oxyodol is a good example of doing a campaign a hundred times and it can always be different, yeah. Even Scrag, surprisingly, Scrag has a really easy time allying whoever he wants. So he can go kinda choose a faction to be the spokesperson of and help them kill everyone else. It's kinda kinda interesting. Changeling is that incarnate, of course, but Surprisingly, Scrag is good at it too. Milk for the cornflakes. Seeing your analytical skills in other games? Uh, I think you, Jokers. I'm glad you enjoy it. Dragon blooded sugar gun. I enjoy it. Go ahead. So, they can have other armies nearby. I have to be a little careful. Allied recruitment. Here we go. Sky Lanterns are not great. Aid Warrior Crossbow Shield. It's okay, we'll grab that. A celestial uh, and then if we get attacked, what's going to help us? In, well, I need to get up to Executioner. So let's grab... They're going to have Armor Piercing. Let's... Uh, I have armor piercing for Cathay. um missiles but if we're getting lit up in dragon form of missiles i think the armor piercing part doesn't really matter it's gonna it's gonna rip him apart either way celestial general a ram lead from the front melee defense plus five missile resist plus five percent okay grab that an aura around him i would take that to defend my soul. Kuyath is close to being good. Fest is greater roster options. Yeah, yeah. Overall really hurts. For the dragons. You can Kugath confederate Festus? I, I don't know. I didn't think so, but I don't know. Yeah, I don't think you can. Alright, is there a army here? Is 
there is a character, but I don't see an army. Wait, wait, wait. No. Shaper of the eight winds. Witness their demise. Dismantle them. Okay, so. Spill their vile blood. Which of these places is more likely to get hit? Well, we can see further this way, so. Yuan Bo is much more likely to get hit. We're going to take attrition if we send him up, though. No matter which way we send him, you'll get attrition. So we probably should actually put him here and get... I will take first watch. Some Rajin. Um, hang on. There's a thing in here. Promise that corruption reduced to zero. Hmm. We'll probably be able to do that in the next turn or two. So much to do. Man, I hope he doesn't get hit by like two armies or something. Sacred duty. Do we need to play this out with her? We probably should. As much as it's terrible, let's just do it. I don't want to lose very much at all. Yeah, I don't think so. We've had that conversation before where it's like an unfortunate thing which ones can and can't confederate others. Definitely leans to some of them being more powerful than others just because of that. It's getting cold here. Thought spring had come, but apparently it was false spring. Should be used to it living here. I do think the cycle thing for Kugath is building cycles is a cool idea. But in practice, it just doesn't seem to do as well as Festus's more traditional building with, um, like, Warband recruitment. Warband recruitment is just really strong. I don't really want them to give Warband or Well, I don't think they would anyway. I want them to give Warband recruitment to Kugath. I'm not sure what they would do, aside from, I don't know. I guess we'll find out. In April. Hopefully it still comes out in April. We'll see. Praise the dragon. Uh. Dragon. Shogun guns All right. She has got this map. It's freaking blinding. Fire in the she has a flying mount now. We are better trained. We are better equipped. Archaeon and Bellacor, yeah. Victory is inevitable. Mm -hmm. there. Better Nurgle lore because of the Wars of Chaos. Yeah, I really like the Warband thing. That's one reason why I like playing them in general. Kind of purple quality item. What is purple in that game? I know different games use different ones. Is it a set? Or did they go with green for set like most most of those? Understood. My chosen place. I will go this way. Alright, let's see if I can time this better this time. Oh, I can't friggin' see where it's gonna spawn. Hey! That went that went pretty well, actually. Way to go, way to go, me. Way to go. That is green, orange, unique. Purple is apparently exalted. Gotcha. Last epoch, yeah. This is the way. Seeking opportunity. Descendant of dragons. This way. At once. On gilded foot. There. Repositioning. Seeking opportunity. Oh, friendly fire. <laughs> Eight wins to me. This is the way. The celestial trifle. On gilded foot. Without fail. Of course. So be it. Move in 
Flying shot. Yeah, it worked well. We lost no one that time. Zero casualties. Man, those maps are blinding. Like, the snow maps in general, a lot of times, are really blinding. But with the Slanesh corruption clouds or whatever, giving it this, like, pink hue as well. Ugh. Ben. You go back through our items again now to see. General. Uh for Boy you are better than uncertain veterans. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna go ahead and at, at the end of the turn, I think I'm gonna start recruiting those lions, even if it's not good for our, our bottom line. Lord Magistrate reporting. Join me in the Because I really want to see that legendary hero and what skills and stuff they have. All right, Mao Ying, I'm I'm trusting you not to screw this army over. I am literally marching it over near you. Did we just test? trespass the Blessed Dread? Ah, they hate us anyway. It's all right. Of Shang Yang, hunting for reagents. We don't have another place at tier three yet. I mean, it's only turn 23. Uh, God, it's going to cost us a friggin' fortune. We only need to recruit five, though. Oh, we can recruit at tier six now with them, too. Another crafty. We should plus two, melee attack plus two. <laughs> We're only using them to recruit and then get rid of, though. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I guess it's still fine. Hmm. We'll grab her, because then we might replace her into one of the armies over there. Fly the Emperor's flag. For now, though, we'll just get the recruitment cost reduction. A tool worthy of a dragon. It's gonna take her two turns. Okay. And then we get to see what the legendary hero with the new one. Constructs are cheaper in there, plus thirty five percent is so good. Oh, in, in Yon Bo, is that what you're talking about? Yeah, we're, we'll hand them off to him. But he could only globally recruit up there, which would take him like eight turns to get six of them or something. <laughs> A double cost. You gotta take that. Yeah. Legend Hero, and you had to confederate to get him. Didn't have the DLC installed at the time. Oh, I gotcha. That makes sense. Leave it for us. No, that completes our province, you jerk. That would do it, yeah, if you don't have a DLC that has Legendary Hero. Yeah. Mao Ying. Cult of Pleasure, Shikara. Man, that is such a common name with the Dark Elves. Shikara. I see so many Shikaras. Shakira? No. <laughs> All right. Uh, Eshin has no more settlements, so they're going to suicide onto us. Yep. I wasn't planning on wiping out a legendary lord's faction when I grabbed that stuff to make some extra money, <laughs> but you know, fine, works. Up, it's a misrule. Are attacking the northern provinces? Yeah. Yeah.
See, Mal, you should be up here. Not down there stealing our places. He's going to take that. Annoying thing is, he'll probably uh, destroy it. I am glad. Oh man, I said we were just gonna do the long campaign victory, not worry about anything else. And now I'm fighting Marathi. I'm over in Cathay fighting chaos. Uh, construction cost minus 80% for yin buildings faction wide for three turns or 10% charge bonus. I'll just take the charge bonus, I guess. I don't want to spend any money. That's how your campaign went as well. <laughs> it's like, I'm only gonna go after the Wuxing Compass. And suddenly you're at war everywhere. Ooh, 20%. Hey, that research finally done. Right, right. Uh, all right. No might, no knowledge. Ink boy, I'm going to use you to scout over here. So Shikara's army is there. Okay. Mage, can you actually move this way in? Yeah, okay. So you can reinforce while... Getting a replenishment, so let's do that. And I have to fight all these because we'll lose basically nothing as long as I fight them. And we know Marathi's going to be back up. Oh, they have uh, Witch Elves as their leader this time. I don't know about the lore. He seems to not like his siblings very much. I, it, like his voice lines in this, if they're lore accurate, he seems to be like, uh, my stupid siblings. Always scheming. But then we also have access to schemes and things, so I don't know. <laughs> Genpo, master of meteor winds. Master of defense. Uh, oof. Yeah, I guess that's all right. Not exactly what I had in mind, but. Warrior crossbows. Cavalry. Jade officer. Genpo. Great scheme of the ball, yeah. Cult of Pleasure is a great name. It is not merely by my birthright that I rule, but my diligence, capability, and force of arms. And he's very modest. None other than you, the chosen of Cathay, to stand by my side against these foes. Very modest. Positioning is all. A better position. There we serve. Dragon's will. Jade crossbow. Jade right. Oh, gun. Yeah. Immediately understood. Whatever is required. Like a winter storm. They will perish. Immediately. Spy master. Okay, let's throw some defense on them. Can't believe they're actually going after this hero. Oh, right. Forgot he has these skills now. Uh, yeah. I don't think we needed those. The reinforcements. Thanks. <laughs> I saw that line. We're like, nope, nope, nope. Where we draw the line? Where we draw the line? Cavalry, marching as one. No puns allowed. Actually, I'm I'm a fan of puns. You can you can pun all you want. I've been to a channel where they ban people for posting puns. <laughs> like we joke about it. But actually, it, and they might just unban them right after. But it was it was kind of funny. To see that and be like, oh god. Always intend your puns. 
So they very they were very well might after the end of their stream every day just unban everyone. <laughs> I don't know. Oh no, we lost eight people. Oh god. <laughs> Was it Stalin streaming on Twitch? No. I don't even remember who it was. In a little while. Ooh, Trickster's Elm. Yeah, let's go ahead and go through this. I was going to anyway. Uh, Trickster's Elm. Ward save 10%. Hmm. Celestial General. What am I going to give this to you now? Perfect Vigor. Uh, that would actually be pretty good on Mage since they're running around so much. Mage always running around. Jade Amulet. What does that one do? Power Recharge. Okay, that's all right. What are we missing here? Arcane Item. Staff of Wujing, power recharge, 240%. Reserves for second. Whoa. A mind bereft of all, all right. wisdom. Do that. Let's actually combine these. See what we get. Alchus Elixir. Armor plus 90 for 25 seconds, two uses. Whatever. Oh, that said potion of foolishness at first. It's like, what the crap does that do? We have a lot of tax collectors. Holy cow. You put those on everyone. Eye of the Emperor. Might as well get extra money while we're anywhere. All right. Brass Cleaver. Not the greatest on him. But. That'll do. That'll do. Uh, What else do we have down here? Character experience gain plus 7%. Water snake breeder? Dragon blooded sugar gun. Uh here you have armor. Victory was predestined. You know what? This might be good on her if she gets caught. Like it's in the middle of a bunch of crap. I need to. Keep her alive for a few seconds. Okay. General of the Celestial Host. He's good. I guess I'm gonna end up naming this guy. Like he's done a really good job over there. Like, ah, we're gonna dismiss these people pretty soon. Don't worry about it. Truly weak mind. And then they just keep winning fights. <laughs> so, like, you gotta keep me. You know what? He has a point. Shogun gun lord reporting. Point. Alchemist of Shangyang. Astroman of the celestial court. Yeah, that's a lot of tax collectors. Jesus. Oh, the Empire stays in business. Yeah, I guess so. She's getting, like, no replenishment even in this the corruption, I assume. Naval's replenishment, yeah. Not a lot. Okay, Shikara is there. Um, doesn't look like they have an army there. They don't have an army there either, okay. They have an army there, and it's a plus seven. Or they have a lord there. No, they have an army. That Marathi's probably back there. Okay. All the stuff you had to deal with. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of wishing I had gone down the blue line now. That would have been nice. So it doesn't... Like, if this army hits here... Well, let's, let's scout up here. Okay. So this army can go here. Among 
And if they attack it, it's not a big deal. I don't think they would anyway, but push that direction. I will take first watch. Let the men sleep. And yeah, let's name this guy. This guy has... Instrument of the divine. I mean, he might be dead here soon, but I'll name him now. He's done a good job. All right, who's next on the Lord list? Uh, a Gravitus. A Gravitus how? I don't know how. What? Sneak? Impossible. Whispers on the wind. You have no settlements. What are you doing here? Hanging out. Leader of men. How'd you even recruit anything? I'm sure his army's been alive for a little bit. Whatever they have. For honor. All right, well, Sneak's just wiped. Nice. Keep your lives, sir. Okay. Clan Eshin gone. And now, what is the Blessed Dread currently doing? Strength rank five. Dread. You must Man, they are just wiping out these little factions down here. I think, though, I'm going to go up and help um, Mao Ying with the gates. I know the Blessed Dread is going to declare on us at some point, but let's go help her with the gates. Avoid we lose some of this, whatever. It's all free I anyway. In the Emperor's name. I will be in my chamber. Will she become a military ally yet? Oh, she will. All right, cool. Favor. For the em nice. Lord, instead of garrisoning the settlement, teleport to the bottom left-hand corner of the map and crash your game. God, I've never seen that one. What? <laughs> Double the practice the drill. Yeah, that one would be a new one, a new bug for me as well. Fort Reaver. So right now we're at Harmony. So whatever we get is going to throw this out of Harmony. If we get Yin, that will give us extra research speed. 5% extra research speed. So... Yeah, let's do that. Uh, income generated, marble resource, okay. For money. Building pyramids, leveled up. Make sure she's getting three more of these. Okay. And so that should give us the legendary hero, unless there's another part of the quest after this. Man, village is gonna take that. If I recruit a lord there, he might not be able to take it. Oh my god, that's gonna make our income plummet even further. Hmm. But it would buy some time for us and Mal to get back over there without them leveling this, hopefully. Christ. That sucks. Um, ah, it's not that bad. Okay, what would help if he attacks? Dragon's Breath would help. Wall of Wind and Fire doesn't do a lot of damage, huh? 12 damage per second. Dragon's Breath does 42. Costs less as well. Doesn't last as long, though. It doesn't go as far. Uh, what does the Strength of Yang do? Okay. So let's get Inspiring Presence. And... Mass plus 100%. It is mine right. by blood right. So hopefully she can just hold that against him, or at least he'll siege instead. Maybe. Okay, mage. Uh, we're gonna grab evasion. A tool worthy of a dragon. Let's give him his melee 
lowers the enemy's melee and melee or melee I attack and melee defense. To defend my soldiers. So again, this is that one that I keep thinking about getting rid of, but so far he's doing all right. Surely a gift from the dragons. This is my mission. How is the south of us looking? It looks like the Hunts Marshal is just holding the south at the moment. So that's that all we care about with him. Us. We don't want anything to do with him otherwise, because we're probably going to have to attack him. Could upgrade that. Uh, no, not right now. Okay, next research. Armor plus 25 for peasant long spearman units and melee defense plus four. That's pretty good, actually. Hmm. Melee defense plus four. Yeah. Want to hear him? No. <laughs> I was playing... Marathi. Maybe. Uh, Upkeep minus 10% for Yin. Upkeep minus 10% for Yang. What else is in here? We're going to be using Jade stuff quite a bit. Vigor loss reduction. Speed for Yang units. Fruit rank for Sky Lanterns. That seems pretty good with how many peasants we're just throwing together all the time. Hmm. Lord Recruit Rank, another plus three. Melee attack for Yang units. Ooh, range and armor piercing for crossbow. Yeah, here's all the jades. Yeah, all right, we should go this way, I guess. There's a lot of good stuff in this one. Man, I'm going to grab this first. That's going to make Old the peasant so much better. My arrow, instrument of the divine. There's a look here. Bring fire and terror. Wow. Xiao Ming isn't fighting him yet, which is kind of surprising. All right, let's see what happens. Can What's up, Ostankia? Who are we at war with? Scourge of Cain and... Tiranok? Who's Tiranok? Is that the, um... Elves that... Nakari messes with? The name doesn't sound familiar to me. Tiranok. Is that the elves that are on the port near Marathi? Yeah, what the crap? You're not... They're on the west side. Interesting. Yeah. Left side of the donut. Okay, yeah, yeah, so... Hmm. I wouldn't expect them to still be there at this stage, but... Left side of the donut. Oscar Troll Hewer. Okay, so that made Village not attack that settlement. That's good. Cost us a pretty penny to make that happen, but... Good overall. We have made it to the Myrmidons, so halfway done with our trip here. For a bunch of money. We're not actually at war with these guys yet. Oh, we got it. The Watcher will appear. Unlock Hero, Satan, the Watcher, either way. Heavy Constructs. Weapon Strength plus 10% for Jade Lion, Jet Lion, and Terracotta Sentinel Units. All armies. Legendary Markman. Marston. Base Missile Damage plus 10% for Cathayan Bow Units. All armies. Oh, man. I think you have to go Marksman. You're going to use way more crossbows and celestial crossbows I would say than you are the these ones both seem good I'm, I'm gonna go this way this your marksman seems super good yeah 
He's enormous. <laughs> Mine's muddled. Uh oh. We're back. Grant land. Income from all buildings plus 5% in all provinces. Uh, Legendary marksman. All right. He's massive. He's the size of a city. <laughs> Um. All right. Let's combine you guys. Let's check out his skill tree. Really curious. Okay, giant leap. So he literally has a leap that deals damage. Oh, I need to tell my uh, daughter bye really quick. One second. But you will be soon, right? So he can leap somewhere and cause damage when he lands. Monstrous impact. Interesting. Leadership, RSI, cooldown reduction for the leap. Silent Guardian, diplomatic relations plus 10 with Grand Cathay. Construction, cost reduction for advanced military buildings and upkeep reduction for uh, construct units. Hit points increase, armor increase. I mean, hero action success reduction. Ambush defense chance plus 25%. Here's the rings. Missile strength 20%, reload time reduction 7%. And then new experience gained for Jade Line, Jet Line units. Expert charge defense for Terracotta Sentinels. He's got tons of stuff. Recruit rank for Cathayan bow units in the army. Range for Sky Lanterns and Sky Junk in the army. Does he buff everything? I mean, I guess he probably buffs all of the two options that you can choose, right? Ammunition, 6% Heroes Army. Base missile damage increase in the Heroes Army. It goes up to 15 each. Melee defense and charge bonus on those units. Chance of intercepting an army using the underweight and beast paths. 40% increase. Wow. Missile resist, 20% for the accompanying Lord. As I say, is that the whole army? Range increase. Reload time reduction. And he's got all kinds of stuff. And then he's got his own buffs. Crazy. Mountain to mountain. Vanguard deployments. <laughs> all right. Can't wait to use him. Master of Can we use him this turn? I'm bitten not to destroy you. Yeah, we could. We could. Maybe we will. I got my Gundam, yeah. <laughs> Eyes upon the heavens. So Marathi has not spawned over there. Oh, she's literally right here. Do she replaced that lord. Three Reaper bolt throwers. Celestial General. Uh, all right. Alchemist ready. Master of the meteor wind. So. Yeah, let's send you two this way. Rouse for battle. I definitely want to see this unit in action. Unfortunately, they do have three uh, artillery themselves, so we might actually lose more. Maybe not. Then if we got. Yeah, I think we we can get these two back there probably. For the Celestia. Shape 
Okay, so mage, let's see what's going on this way. Wide open, wide open. The emperor wills it. Advance without heroics. Have two light artillery, yeah. End this paltry. That was the fun ability as well. Yeah, I, I want to see how he works, so I the think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna just go ahead and fight this one. Even though it would give us a really good. Well, let's, let's see how this one is. It's a weapon he has. And hey, maybe we can execute Marathi. Wait, I forgot to check. What was Marathi's defeat trait? I know Mage got it, and I forgot to really look at it. Spy master. Jade officer. Wind and fire. Uh, she's through a bunch of friggin' trees, which is annoying. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, look at this guy. What? <laughs> Three charges of Windbow. Scale of projectiles damage against combatants with missing health. Causes moderate magical damage effective at long range. Strong versus multiple combatants. Requires a line of sight. He's enormous. Look at his range. He is an artillery. We were like, you thought we were joking. <laughs> like, kinda, a little bit. Oh, I didn't check if she had, she probably has magic. Well, I mean, Marathi has magic, right? Yeah, Marathi is all about magic. So let's, um. We got reinforcements in a minute. Okay. He can see everywhere. <laughs> the dragon emperor's most loyal. And the dragon's name. <laughs> Too bad these trees are the way. That's a long cooldown. 120 seconds. I think only level 12, huh? She's been having trouble up here, I guess. Ow. Whoa, that did a lot of damage. Oh, was that a shot? Hang on. Guys had no idea what was about to happen. Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't be coming over this way either if I was Marathi, honestly.
Do you have any other fast units? Uh, yeah. Couple. Still a little bit bad for her at this point. I just wanted to spread my cult. I mean, your cult. They're just going to keep sending out like one or two units. Let's see what his ability is. So stupid. What? Bureaucrat and warrior. That's pretty strong. Foster of meteor winds. Day dragon moving. Show them now fury. Move as wind. Pretty strong. Better position. There. Positioning is all. There we serve. The wind. A mind to come out. The Jade Court's power. The Dragon Emperor commands. Dragon God. Then yes, then God. All right, Marathi's dead. <laughs> A better position. Seems, uh, he seems pretty good. Yeah. Whoa, why did one of you guys go that way? What the crap? Well, I might actually lose the group because I I didn't realize that one of the reinforcements routed a weird way. Too busy watching our new legendary hero. Wind and fire. Emperor's executioner. Probably worth it though. Oh, I don't even have him on guard mode. It's really crazy. Can't wait to use him on a more open map, too. So, uh, yeah, Marathi's dead. Alright. Whoops. Went to a fantasy fight and getting hit half a mile out by a stone mech. <laughs> yeah. You got 230 kills in just that little, little bit of time. Space seems like a fun faction. They have a lot of variety too, as you as you get higher up, especially now with the most recent patch. He did two thousand gold worth of damage. We will make you well. All right, well, Marathi screwed. Hopefully, things down south aren't getting too strong while we're up here dealing with stuff we don't necessarily need to deal with. I mean, Marathi declared war on us. To be fair. Gravitas, keep going In this way. Without heroics. Lord Magistrate reporting. Keep going that way as well. I change spell direction. You special button. You just hold you hold the click and drag. So hold the button down, hold left click, and just drag it in the direction you want to do it. Lord reporting. Power in the blood. So we need to get these up to those armies. I mean, I don't know. How many turns is it going to take her to get up there? Man, it's going to take quite a while. And it's costing us so much having that. I would hate to recruit. I mean, it was worth it just to get the legendary hero, but. Uh, if we go by C, we might get up there in like three turns. 
Uh, I don't know if it's worth it because she isn't just costing us 2600. She's also increasing supply lines. We can always just re-recruit when we come back down this way. Especially now that it's a military district. So we basically just recruit these to get the legendary hero. Would I have spent 6k on that legendary hero? Well, now that I've seen him, yes, yes, I would. Uh, God, yeah, I'm going to do this. Uh, it's fine. Okay. And for you... Many feet, one purpose. Actually, you just stay there right now until we know where he's coming from. Love lions. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna use more of them. But right now, by the time it got up there, we could have literally, you know, globally recruited for cheaper than they're costing us. So, okay, so let's go ahead and get armor and melee defense. Deadly onslaught. Governor, an execution. Oh, these start out okay. Rank six, rank twelve. The campaign line of sight plus 10%, range 8% more range on him. Leadership, more ammunition, and so explosive missile damage increase. Yeah, let's go with that. Our caravan master will get more income from him. Of great efficiency. ARAM. Um, let's just put down his red line some more. I would take that to defend my soldiers. Unfortunately, I don't think he can get anywhere. Wait, we could use this, right? The a great day. crackdown. Let us avoid hubris. Do we have something that's going to go to tier three in time to use the four stone on? This harmony threatens our order. Not really. And we're doing a lot of battles, so we're going to get it back pretty quickly. That seems worth. Master of the meteor winds. Especially if it helps us wipe out Marathi without having to run around and um Celestial General. In camp stance. Uh yeah, okay. Let's see how it works. Crackdown. There we go. Nice. Now, I guess the question is, do we keep this stuff for ourselves or we hand it over to Malstankia? It's inhospitable for us, so we're not going to get a lot out of it. Frozen climate. So everything is going to take twice as long. Everything is going to be terrible. We might end up selling it to Malstankia. Let's just keep taking more for now and then we'll decide. Uh... More money, more growth. This one currently is recruit rank plus one. We actually want to keep it as Yang, I think. Control is fine. Yeah, so keep it as Yang. And let's get more growth here. More money. Outpost upgrade, no. Caravan, I think I'm gonna wait on the better one to get back. The other one is just one that we got for free. It doesn't cost any upkeep or anything. We got it in a uh oh, when we confederated earlier. Only the dedicated so. Oslin is back. I think they got wiped out before, didn't they? By Sigma's will. Yes. Yes. The ice the court still alive. Way to go. Way to go, Katarin. I, am I mean, it's not that far into the game. It's not too surprising, I guess. The Empire approaches friend and mine. What? We're about to start getting a lot of trade money. Celestial General. Uh, I don't want to do that. I don't want to be in the war with Loki right now. Although he has taken a lot. I can't believe uh, Xiaoming hasn't 
He's going to war with him. I mean, what is he waiting on? I've changed my mind on this. I know I built it, but. Oh, okay. Now he's at war with him. Strength rank eight and strength rank five. Strength rank three. Holy crap. Total war plus all crisis as early as possible run. No, I'm still going through these at the moment. I don't really like the in-game crisis too much. I don't know. It doesn't. It just doesn't feel super interesting. I'm not sure why. I used to always do the end-game crisis, and I was like, eh. <laughs> I guess it. I guess it's kind of because by the time they happen, it's generally not super. I don't know. Like if if you do it by default, by the time it happens, you are like over prepared for it. If you do it super early, it's just, I don't know, grinds the game speed down. But no, we'll do other kinds of playthroughs, but right now I'm still going through all the long campaigns. Gonna take a little bit. Nearly run out of Warhammer Vaz to watch during the week, so you're rewatching Tarox. The Tarox is a wild run. <laughs> the Tarox, the beginning was actually pretty crazy. We, uh, that early fight against Silostra ended up being, it was like on turn, what, four or something? Ended up being the hardest part of the whole campaign. Yeah, thank you for watching those. Much appreciated. Snowblind, 56 months, long time no see. Still subscribing though. Thank you for the support, Snowblind. Uh oh. Here they come. Puppets of Misrule. How's everyone doing? Doing all right. Didn't get to stream much this week because uh, I wasn't feeling well, but. Feeling a little bit better today. Going a little bit longer today. Um, <laughs> Marathi is getting sacked by a random Bray herd spawn. Marathi definitely not having a great time. Surprise, Sigvald, or not Sigvald, excuse me. The village's vassal has it declared on us. Raising. Zufbar is gone. Legion of Asgore. That must have been Grimgore, right? You'd sack Marathi as well. No comments. No comments. Through me. Um. What is this foolishness? Okay. First among warriors. Let's go ahead, so ahead and have Aram take Grey Rock points. Battle is nigh. People magical attacks. Um, he has all peasants. Like, what is it? Really matter. I guess. I guess we'll just auto resolve it. We need to get him a better army sometime. A jade army. We're done up here with Marathi, probably. See, all these are just inhospitable, all frozen. So I don't know if it's worth me keeping them or not. Yeah, let's go ahead and start mo moving towards Marathi's capital. Ink boy, if you fell this again. Oh my God, he got something. He completed it. It only took him like four attempts, but he got one. How big is the map? The map is really large. Yeah, I think the game starts with like 276 factions. So basically every time one of these Warhammer games come out, they add to the this map. Uh, this is the Immortal Empires map, which has almost the whole Warhammer world now. It's getting there. I must thought it works. Hey, you know how some people say I can't start my day without a cup of coffee. Adam can't start his day without a cup of anime girl thighs. <laughs> kind of true. Kind of true. Oh, this is a a capital building. For Province capital. I didn't know Tyrant Peak. Yeah. Not sure how I didn't know that, but I did not. It is my blessing. All right. Uh, a gravitus. Leader of men. 
So unfortunately, this one is not going to go attack him. So I'm going to go into... Stay mobile. I'm going to go into ambush dance Travel here. Readiness. Harmony above and then we're going to try to trick this guy into coming and getting hit by this. Advance. So he might not, though, with Mao you can have in all these armies near. See? It shall be effortless. Okay. I get these places growing. Growing, growing, growing. Uh, this needs a yin building. Hey, Skeggy can get to tier 3. This would be a great one, actually, to use that on. So, yeah, we need to save up and get 4 stone. This is a lot of income because of all the ports. Okay. Make sure we save up there. And I always see this as a like a cinnamon roll with overflowing cinnamon. But I know it's a dye. Dye coming out of a barrel or something. But it's a cinnamon roll to me. Cinnamon roll to me. I'm not going to get rid of that right now because we might want to sell it. Uh, One more turn on that. Okay. Mm -hmm. When did I get to do a battle? I just did a battle. Yeah, not very long. You might have just came in, though. Uh, I'll be doing another battle probably on the next turn, actually. Because we want to take that capital building. So probably on the next turn. It'd be kind of cool to see what he does in a siege battle, too, actually. I demand their death. All right. Track mercury from. So I think that's a crystal full of mercury. Now Ying. She is marching all the way to her capital through a desert. All right. They went to ambush stance. This is our military ally, so we're gonna take back Pome. More of Mercury, so better not add it to your pastries. Yeah. By my blade. Rathy wants peace. Nope. Nabar and cinnamon aren't the same. It dies. Feels endless. The map is really large, and there's even more that they can add to it. There's some places that aren't developed. Oh, I wasn't thinking. He's got. Yeah, he fell for it. All right, this army's dead. Good thing I didn't name this guy. They have teleport stance, so we just got telestomped. So this army is absolutely wrecked by this guy. But I guess we um we fight it anyway and see if we can kill something so our next army can kill it. I wasn't thinking, for some reason I was thinking this was um, uh, the vassal, which we were not at war with, so yeah. Game will slay. <laughs> I went to trick him into coming into the ambush, and instead I got telestomped. <laughs> um, actually, there might be something we can do here. Now you want a cinnamon roll? I haven't had a cinnamon roll forever. It sounds good, though. Sounds good. You know how, like, donuts have donut holes? Do they have cinnamon roll centers? Because that's the best part. Remember, Sell me the centers. It's the crap. You. They're already dealing huge damage before I'm even... Wait, where's the... Where's the retreat spot? Oh, my God. I was going to try to do... What the crap? Do you not have that on the ambush ones? Uh, or on the teleport ambush? I don't think I've ever been teleport ambushed. I've used it a lot, but... Yeah, I don't see it. Teleport stomps or death sins, yeah. No treat, only death. Well, it was worth checking, I guess. 
Now we know for the future. It's unfortunate. This is that army, though, that I kept saying I should get rid of. It's just cost us money. Ambushed. Yeah. Telestomp is a different kind of ambush. Oh, well. Oh, well. It's crazy that the spells they were using hit before we even came out of the ambush screen. <laughs> Well, we don't have to worry about this army anymore. That's good. That frees up some income to get higher tier units over on our main armies. All right. Somehow Lord Magistrate's losing horribly, it feels right. Man, it's just so silly that I set up a ambush trap and then I got telestomped. <laughs> I guess I just forgot who I was fighting over there. Wish this was StarCraft. He had Banelings. Yeah, that would be nice. I guess the closest thing to Banelings in this is the... That exploding corpse unit for the Vampire Coast. <sighs> Banelings are the worst. Well, that wasn't really a battle. Yeah, that was just death. I can promise little. One of the greatest fears was Zinch for that reason. Yeah, teleport stance is crazy. I used it a whole lot in my Daniel campaign. It's so good. I didn't realize that there wasn't a runaway point from teleport ambush. The teleport ambush is different than other attack ambushes. Yeah, that was a no you from the AI, yeah. That made me feels when Daniel telestomped him. Yes, yeah, exactly. I didn't know. I didn't know. See what you've been doing to me. Hey, Helm and Gorst. Wiped. That's gotta be Grimgore over there causing all this craziness. Witness their demise. Decisive, low, and this is a uh, siege, so I'm just gonna take it with her. Fight in perfect I'll just auto resolve that extension. one. I'll probably have to fight over at the capital, though. Look at our income since so we lost that little army. Of Celestial General. Yeah, this is like this is it for Marathi. Okay. Keeper of Wu Sheng. Um. Alchemist ready. The Jade Dragon. A straw man solved the Celestial Court. <laughs> Governor, an executioner. Dragon this one we should probably play out, especially since they have, well, they have magic, but the Iron Dragons decide maybe I should put her in this army now. Go ahead and get her some, some experience. Um, Outcast by dragons trained in shadow. Yeah, I'll do that. Ready the discharge scrolls. I stand ready. There we go. I kept wanting to go to Ink Boys. Like, Ink Boys not an army. Ink Boys not an army. You got gumshoe? Gumshoe. Bone King, glad you think so. Helm and Gorst. I'm really curious what's going on over there. Let me look really quick. I mean, you can't re Could be Greasus. Greasus sometimes takes him out. Oh, Greasus is out here too. Wait a minute. Was that Greasus that took out the... No. <laughs> no. They got the Chaos Doors? No. Grimgore is rank one. All right. Uh, wagers coming up. There you go. I'm going to wager your real fake channel points. 
one really fun thing so uh green skin will be the next run and one of the one of my favorite things to do on green green skin is to snipe someone like grimgore like be kind of friends with him and then go over there with an army and when grimgore is like in march dance just jump on him and kill him and then you just take out everything <laughs> it's so silly I remember doing that, uh, I think it was, was that Skarsnik? Back when he was over near, uh, Thorgrim. Grimgore was near Thorgrim. It is kind of silly that you confederate the entire, I, I guess it makes sense, yeah. It's relatively thematic. Skaven strategies there, yeah. Suddenly your income goes from, like, positive 2,000 to minus 38,000. Because Grim Girl had Grim Girl. <laughs> Grim Gore had 15 armies. Grim Girl. Who's Grim Girl? I didn't say that, you said that. Rathy's the big dead. Yeah, hopefully so. Well, I mean, hopefully so. Uh I forgot about yeah, don't we usually attack on this side of this one? Yeah. It's not great though. Grim Girl is the number one holy fans orc. Uh, I wonder how he does at destroying these towers. Let's find out. Let's find out. We're going to keep you back. Let's keep you back here because you're a brand new baby. Baby hero. Uh, we gotta remember they have spells, too. Jade warriors. So just Stone spread some of these out a little bit until I Archers. see what's going on with this. Shenyang, faithful. Men of Cathay, together. We shall reduce these foes to a red mist. The better to water our fields and trouble our families no more. That's right. All right, let's see how he is about taking these kind of things out. We already know he can absolutely decimate people out on the out in the fields. He miss. Come on. I need to see how much damage you do to towers and stuff. 1400 damage. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Play the Cast Doors campaign? Yep. Yeah, that one's up on YouTube if uh, you're curious to see it. We played as Astrogoth. The whole long campaign is up on YouTube. Astrogoth, Zulahu, yeah. <laughs> Astrogoth is pretty fun. Very, very strong, surprising to no one. Oh, those are actually moving. Be careful. Alright, let's go ahead and start moving these guys up. Don't make it out there, turn this into a Call of Duty lobby with snipers. Yeah, it's crazy. On dinner anytime, yeah. Just let me know whenever you want it. I'm good. Uh, 
Alright. Oh, they have a hero unit up there. That's a bad idea for you, lady. Unless we get the bug where I get stuck on the friggin' wall or something. Ancestors, guide me. No question. Uh, that's already busted open. Come, test yourself. So she's dead the next hit. Please don't get stuck on the wall. Please don't get stuck on the wall. Okay, it didn't. I really thought it was. It did. I, again, we we ran into that bug earlier and had to redo the mission because got stuck on the wall. All right, they are clearing out of here, so we are gonna move in. Kill her, please. Just needs one hit. Maybe she's too small. Okay, don't let those guys recover. I don't know how you're ever going to hit anything else from out here, honestly. Oh, he can actually attack the wall. So some of his missed shots nearly destroyed the wall. Those guys, ah, they're bringing harmony. All right, now there's a hole in the wall. Can we use this on them through that hole. Come on, let's see it. Mm, he doesn't have line of sight, really. Yeah, I better not let him try that because if we get. Friendly fire, it's gonna not be pretty. Not be pretty. Over here, that is done. Okay. I mean, if they want to just keep sending one set of units to fight our legendary lord at a time, we'll just chew through them over and over. That's fine with me. Oh, there you go. Get that one. Oh. <laughs> Alright, finish those off. We'll keep on 2x at the moment. Is that another Reaper Bolt Thrower up there somewhere? Not sure. But yeah, they just keep... Oh, no, it's that tower. Okay. Just keep sending a unit or two. Apparently. That's plot armor. We can't even defend over here. That kind of sucks, doesn't it? All this crap line of sights their own tower. I were them, I'd be kind of annoyed about that. Get 
Okay, that one's done. Important to see the skull. There we go. We'll go over here and assassinate this lady. Are we winning? I think so. Have a good hero. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. All right, let's take that tower out. I didn't realize the shades were there. I shouldn't be on 4X during that. God, shades are so good. You get them at such a low uh, early point of the game, too. Got the Von Karstein blade, though, so should be able to heal back up before we get out of this. We should be about to the win, but don't want to lose very much. Uh... Oh, that's from missing him. I mean, all the way over there. Like, how do they have such a long range? But... It's not even really about range. Uh, let's see. We have a lot of wins of magic, too, still. We really only used a couple of units here. I mean, we used quite a bit of ammo with that group, but didn't really need it. All right. We're good. Let's let him heal up, kill some more of these. Going to strange land. Come in. I didn't even need to be this careful, honestly. There's no other armies nearby, and there's no other enemies nearby, so. We could have just auto resolved it. But he seems pretty good at taking things out. Well, I mean, like anything. It's just that he has no arc, right? Because he's just. He's like the giants, the giant archers in Elden Ring. No arc. Straight friggin' laser shot with a bow. It explodes at the end. And we are still healing. So, no reason to leave yet. Where are you going? <laughs> Alright. It might have been a little bit faster to just... go around the bottom of it, but what do I know? I'm not a giant dragon man. All right, he's good. Decisive it is. Decisive it is. Man, I wonder what the south of Lustria... Well, we're not... Speaking of the south, we haven't even made it to the... past the top of Lustria, the north of Lustria. Lustria might be a friggin' mess for us. I have no idea. Gecko brain, dragon body. No idea. Expanding harmony across the world. Why did it just teleport me over there with crap? Uh, so I think Aram, we're going to start heading down with him to recruit a better army. Yeah, these are getting pretty close to allowing us to do that. So... These two are definitely going to be able to finish her off. Don't have to worry about that. Mage should be able to, unless they have some kind of surprise army over there. 
Uh, maybe we come over here and meet the high elves really quick. Occupy any passes. Oh, that's risky though. If we run into that, I don't know where he is. Uh, we will reach our destination. There's a neutral pirate out there. Celestial general. Man, I can't believe I lost that army doing that. <laughs> Uh. Dragon blooded Shugunga. General, cover tracks with haste. Humility in all things. He was the ambush guy, too, right? Another ambush guy? Yeah, I think so. Right. With your truce of thoughts. Oh, you lost it. I got you. I got you. I see now. Oh, you're talking to me. Uh, let's get more melee defense. Eye of the Emperor. More health. Keeper of Wushu. More explosive damage. I feel like he doesn't need more ammo, right? Like, the games are over before we use all of his ammo. Let's save the point and get some more stuff in this one. We unlock it on the next level. Increase mobility. Uh, Siren Doom upgraded. The celestial wind is mine to command. Celestial wind. Astral Mansa of the Celestial Court. Hmm. We could just send Ink Boy over to meet them. Yeah, let's do that. Heaven's a lot safer than a hero. Governor, Someday you'll be in an army, Ink Boy. Someday. But it is not this day. Oh, sorry. that. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, let's just try to get money and stuff out of this while we can. Holy crap, this place is all yin. Super yin. Growth plus 20. Yeah, let's just get it, uh, get it grown. Grow, grow, grow. Nikkei Bounty? I, I already did a Nikkei Bounty like six months ago or something. Oh, what do we get out of this? Income generated 200, growth plus 30, research rate plus 5%. And another area for Astromancers. Maybe we won't sell this stuff. I mean, it's it's 1,200. Yeah, screw this. Or screw that. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> It's not hospitable, but Dragon. it's money. We don't have to upgrade it any further or like we don't have to prioritize upgrading it, I should say. Yeah. Lord of Yin and Yang. Outpost upgrade. Uh no. Next research. Let's go for... Hmm. Melee defense for yin units. Uh, melee attack plus five for jade warriors. However, the weapon strength increase. Range and armor piercing for all the crossbows. Yeah, we'll grab that. Investment. In the future. Mammoth here. Let's do control. Okay. Our caravan is ready to go. So we got all the like super good stuff that I really want. There are some things that you can get from this. From just going to places you've already been. I think it's random if you get it or not. So we might just keep going to uh, Marienburg. Because that's the 5,000 payout. We have a chance to get some... I think there's an item, a small chance to get an item that gives you like 20% research speed or something. Yeah, we'll just go there. Target the person is unhinged. Oh, really? I haven't seen any of the commercials and sponsors or ads for it yeah, in a long time. I did it. The game was actually like, as a game, it was okay. Boy, oh boy. 
It was quite jiggly. A lot of fan service. Uh, quite jiggly. Okay, so we're going to bring Aram down and get him a new army recruited, but I don't want to get him in trouble on the way. I was thinking about dismissing some of this and just sending him down, but eh, I, I, I don't want to. I don't want to get caught, get him killed or something. Mushi Su. Mushi Su. All right, let's see what Meow is doing. She's reselling Pome. Yep. And then she's just leaving. Are you marching? Okay. I was about to say, are you going to march out in the open near that guy with teleport stance? Ask me how I know that's a bad idea. <laughs> Games, this is for PC. I played on PC. Yeah. Uh, Nike. It's N I K K E, I think. I think it's, there's a mobile version as well, though. Had a bounty for it maybe six months ago, something like that. This is Total War and it's on PC. <laughs> if they with the rail cannon, yeah. Imagine if there was just a ra I mean, obviously it would be overpowered. If there was a ranged version of the Terracotta Sentinel that was similar to Say Tang. Pretty sure yeah, I my bounty was a PC version of it, yeah. PC as in on computer, yeah. <laughs> oh, they're gonna double stack that. Oh my god, the teleport stomps. Al's getting eaten up by those teleports. Uh, alright, looks like we're gonna fight some ogres. Uh. Two arms. All right, looks like we fought some ogres. Ugh. Okay, more replenishment on that group. A lot of things going on. Okay, so mage can actually reach this. There is a character there, and there's a military presence. I wouldn't doubt if Marathi's there recruiting a new army already. Sent by our ancestors. I permit you to rest. Marathi's there recruiting a new army already. <laughs> okay. Heat like Chian's jungles. Witness their demand. I think that's the end of Marathi. They will know order. Well, that went a lot. Yep. In a cold pleasure. That went a lot more smoothly than I had thought it would, so. You're writing about 15 minutes? 15 to 20? Okay. Sinky is not at war with anyone. Let's do a non aggression with her and a military access. Alright. Food. She probably got another turn or two on this for today. Yeah, so. Alright. Our northern border is. Safe Attention. for the time being. Take the boats. Yep. Our Let's go see what's happening over on the donut. But as long as nothing like Bullshit. really crazy is going on over there, we are headed south. In the states of the defenses. Now. And the once marshal, who's been our so southern friend. All this time is suddenly going to get a rude awakening. God, I wish I could reach them. All eight winds bend to my will. First among warriors. It's so dangerous because if we get detected in ambush stance, he's dead. What was the world like in the celestial he's just completely dead. What's that like? My ancestors require it. Well, it looks like you're going to turn into our real lord over here with an army and everything. Okay, mage is leveled up. We're going to go ahead and get ancestral warriors. Having a summon like that, always great. Saiting is still not old. Yeah, we're going to skip that one.
Hey, Hex Auto level 3. Nice. Oh, what can we use with three of these? Immune diplomatic penalties for trespassing. Replenishment in foreign territory. Camping movement plus 20. Um, It really feels like we might as well make another fortress city just to get another token. There's also the balanced ones, but we don't have any of that yet. But I, I need two more stone. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no, no. Next hero action is guaranteed. Instantly completes one round of recruitment. Maybe we'll use that one to get more the stone going. To lose an army is a sunken ship. Yeah. Uh, oh, in our military province, our starting area. Love is in doubt. Mm. We're going to have a military building there. Soon, okay. All right. Oh, that's the only places we really have to upgrade. I actually, I'm not sure if I want to... Uh... We get Alchemist recruitment there. That would be kind of nice. But I would rather that be in the actual Crimson Skull as it goes up to Tier 5. Should also start recruiting Grand Cannons there by getting rid of this. Hmm. Maybe. I'm not going to upgrade right now either way. We can start upgrading this area, but I don't know. I guess I might as well. It's going to take for friggin' ever. Eight turns. That is forever. Outpost, sure. I only do that. Imminent rebellion over here. Okay, mage will take care of that. That'll just be free experience for her. Compass direction. Again, just income. I know we keep choosing the same one, or I do, but... Right now, the control and income is just too, too good to pass up. Okay, any new trade deals out there? Only who calls. Oh, speak. We've met high elves. Nice. So. What requests would you make of the Phoenix King, as you say? Here we go. Valerian. We've met high elves of the donut. All right, they are doing just fine. But yeah, I think the north is done. We can actually start heading down toward our actual objectives. Come to Nikari's funhouse. <laughs> Doesn't happen often, but I think it was it was Tarok's campaign. Yeah, Tarok's campaign. We showed up and Nikari had taken like half of uh, Bretonia or something, or a big a big part of Bretonia. I was like, what? Three times one. For the three months, thank you, free. Much appreciated. <laughs> the assets. Oh. The huge tracts of land. Yeah, so I have no idea what Luster is looking like. We could run into a lot of problems down there. Lizardmen at the moment are kind of difficult for us we're mainly on peasant still but we're finally getting into tier three which should help out quite a bit i don't think any of the lions were anti-large were they oh my god maybe the celestial lion is anti-large i have to check Moxia Pulsator. Sky Junk uh, are awesome, and the Sky Lanterns kind of suck. Yeah, hot air balloon with flat cannons. Yeah, <laughs> or at least playing against them. The Sky Junk seem to do pretty well. The sky Lanterns are just they kind of kind of feels like a joke almost, right? I don't know. I've never been concerned about a Sky Lantern. Rebellion. Clan Molder, Throt destroyed. The Dread Fleet destroyed. Cac Ziflin. Okay. 
All right, mage. Some free experience with these rats here. That loss is just the minor gears, and we don't care. Yeah, I'm gonna have to use some of these, so we'll do it as a round of recruitment here in a minute. Uh, how is the order here? Let's go ahead and change this out for a public order building. We'll leave this for some global recruitments. Dragon. Instrument of uh, the Aram, device. let's check this island here. We don't really care if your units get wiped because you're about to go recruit a real army. And we can kill our human allies. Well, they weren't. They've never been our allies. They've just been kind of like acquaintances. Acquaintances. Uh, any other treasure? No. I maybe I should recruit a lord down there and start building an army to give to them, because I have only one kind of military province right now. And I'm going to be filling in, like, three That's armies. Sorcery through me. Mm. Might be a good idea. Sprinting no other water stuff speed. nearby, though? No. I... Oh, there's a ship, actually. All right, Ink Boy. Go meet people. Let the ocean calm into your soul. Greetings. The Phoenix Court will hit. Okay. Heaven's servant. We've met some people on the donut, so you can come back. Or let's go up here and steal technology for someone that we don't care if it's upset by it. Find the breeze. I'm sure Ingboy won't let us down again. My great mind requires. How's Hero Vegemite doing? I'll check after this. Attention. So what exactly is going on here right now? Like, I saw three armies of village. He definitely won the fights. So he's got to be in this kind of bubble that we can't see. Why so silent? Strength. Strength rating of 49. Did he lose some of those armies? No, definitely not. There's Mao Ying. She's going after this one next turn. Celestial General. He's just going to run, and I have nowhere to go if we have a problem with ambush. It'll literally be an ambush. Is that a Joker reference? I was thinking that too. How much movement do we have left after it? 13%? Leader of men. Trust in the dragons. I am sure they plan for us all. Yeah, I better wait. Dragon blooded Shugunga. General of the Celestial Host. Until I actually see them. I don't want to get telestomped on again. My god, I don't want to spend your points yet. Not until you get another level. Might spend it just to make my him stop bothering parents. me. Scrutinize All right, Aram, let's upgrade your Invisibly. melee guys this there. Fortunate, then, that I All right, I'm spinning it. I'm just sick of skipping it every time. <laughs> okay. I think I will trade that out. Get some cannons there. Is that really all we can upgrade this turn? Yep. Okay. Any new trade deals? Monster. So. Not with anyone that we care about. Oh right. Was I going to go ahead and recruit an army to hand over? It would save us quite a bit of time in the long run. 
We'd be recruiting at the high Sentinel and then handing off to Aram. He'll be down here in like two, maybe three turns. So let's switch this over to recruitment cost reduction and recruitment capacity. And we'll start recruiting next turn instead. Set what pre intern alerts you get using the cog in the bottom right? I don't think so. I know I'm saying I don't think I I knew that. If so, I have forgotten. Okay, now with a kill on that army, good. I need to really pay attention to this. So there's a village right next to them, so it's a good thing I didn't go in there. Ow, liao. What she's doing? She's gonna recruit maybe? Ragnar Gurlis. How <laughs> Lou? Yeah, I thought so too. Why is so silent? I mean, serious? Right, show me village. Oh, he was in March dance. Uh, but we couldn't beat multiple army armies there not with the crowd this is uh oh did he spot our ambush it didn't look like we came out of ambush stance jade wear crossbow uh yes i'll take that Hey, Towson Preservation, nice. Go ahead and put that on before I forget. Here we go. Change from my scrolls. Uh, let's go ahead and hit this cargo with him while we're out here. Be able to get it until next turn. This close to the sea. We must I need to keep mage here for a little while. Living. Yeah, this is subsiding pretty quickly. The so mage will just hop the down through these areas. Servant of the dragons. Hey Ram, what do, what do you guys have? I might not even have to recruit a new army to hit these guys on the way down. Yeah, I don't think so. So Aram might end up hitting these ones. Did he say Yin Yin? The Kong in the bottom right. Yeah, interesting. Minute Rebellion, no siege equipment, unassigned skill points, Lord not moved, damage buildings, Garrison Lord not moved, commandment available, hero not moved, research available, airman dispatch, combat selection, outpost available, outpost upgrade available, building upgrade available. Interesting. Instrument of the divine. So he didn't see us. His army's definitely better than ours. If she comes out of there, he is going to teleport onto her. I could take the turtle gate. Let's see. Ao Ying is planning to stay where she is. General. First among warriors. Simplicity is Yeah, we'll see what happens here. Their upgrade. And yeah, let's start recruiting another army here. Um, I don't know though. So what are the stat difference between the Jade Warriors and the Jade Warrior, Warrior Halberds? Let's see, 90 armor, 90 armor. Okay, but those are shielded, 64 leadership. 64, 28. So is it just bonus versus large? 28, 24, 34. They have four more melee defense. And bonus versus large. Um, an anti-large and armor piercing. Okay. 
Huh, so not shielded. So probably some of those will work out better against some of the lizardmen. Yeah, I don't think we should start recruiting yet until we get to these better ones, but and I don't know, it seems like just might as well get Jade Warrior crossbow men with shields and then something to activate their harmony effect. We have some hero slots too. Leadership RSI is plus 30%, leadership plus 6 and fighting against Wars Chaos, Demons Chaos. Leadership plus 2, whole army, melee attack plus 2, your crack, special cost reduction and control. Well, we recruit at level 6 now too. So let's recruit. Yeah. Go ahead and recruit you. Astro Marisa of Grand Cathay. And recruit you. Astro Marisa of Grand Cathay. Let's do specialist and steel technology. There's a lot of really good research that we need to get, get going here. So this place is going to have control issues because of the climate all the time. Minus 12. Oof. This harmony threatens our order. We already have control one. Hmm. Control two, casualty replenishment, blah, blah, blah. Actually, replenishment, recruitment cost reduction. So every now and then we might need to throw a peasant army together really quick to deal with a, a rebellion. So which one is going to help with that? Probably the cost reduction. Okay. And Lustria is such a rich area too. Like there's so many places in Lustria that just have lots of resources. Are you winning against the Blessed Dread? Whatever bargain or parley you Way to go. On the hunt. Windshaper. Wow, we're Don't almost at the point where we can confederate Mao Ying before we've even gone into Lustria, <laughs> really. <laughs> Turn 30. Yeah, but the problem with that, yeah, I know they give a bonus to the control, but the problem with that is supply line so having an army with some units in it up there just to get control is going to make everything cost more so i'd rather just wait and then when a rebellion happens just spawn one and deal with it that turn or even just put walls there and let it just deal with it itself yeah minus 12 for the area is kind of nuts Careful, Mal. Village is going to teleport stomp you. Yeah, there you go. Good job. Woo hooey. <laughs> that's not how that's pronounced, I'm sure. Zing there might get tele stomped. I don't know. He's got two armies nearby, so I'm guessing he probably. Probably has a. The mana to do it, but I know. Fear of Telus Thomas Palpable. I had kind of forgotten about it. I've used it so much. My I, I, I just wasn't thinking no. about it. Uh, I don't want pulled into war with Malekith. It's gonna happen, isn't it? I'm not making any deals with you. Nope. I always regret allying with the heck. But. That means Malekith is coming down through Nehek, then he's going to border Kislev, and then he's going to go to war with Kislev, and then we're right on the other side. Hopefully it doesn't come to that. I'm going to Lustria, screw it. If we have to have a couple armies up there to deal with him, when it happens, it happens, I guess, but... Uh-oh. Yep. <laughs> I tried to warn her. I told her. Look behind you, it's Kairos. Oh, let's look above you, yeah. 
only the AI was voice activated. We probably have enough legions points with her to tell her to do some things now. Do not rest on the waves. Loyal executioner, eager for battle. Rest in peace. For Cathay. For Cathay. And yours. Oh, okay. We can actually make landfall this turn. Nice. I thought we were going to have to waste another turn. That would have sucked. Um, keep Bring on coming speed. down. Adorn my chamber in finery. Hmm. For Grand Cafe. Advance without heroics. Well, I was going to raid there, but I guess I'm not. Forces are great. He's already maxed on that, and he doesn't even have any spells in his army, but. Uh, we could take the Turtle Gate. The problem is, we know Village has a full Don't army here. Think about it. And he has another one there. My mother would approve. She's going after that one. Let's see. So many dragons. It is forbidden to I hate that it's not like the next turn. General of the Celestial Because if it would be the very next turn, I could. Well, you know, can we reach Celestial that? General. He's got movement left, though, is the problem. Can't reach it anyway. Reverse the high ground. Lord of Yin and Yang. Hey, keep getting that army ready. Of Wuxing. You have just about everything that I care about, honestly. So you can just put points wherever. Dragon. Uh, let's get the golden hounds. Golden hounds can be really oh, good if they. An executioner actually stay and hit where you want. I guess that's the case with a lot of those type of things, though. Hey, how are you feeling about us? Oh, you like us. All right, cool. Well, you're not going to mind if we steal a little technology then, right? Right? Failed. What is up with this, man? It was like a 60-something percent chance. Bad luck. And we failed almost all those. I think we've succeeded in one today. Skeggy, uh, get this up first. This one, what do we have right now? Research rate increase. Let's, uh, let's balance this one. Sulfurates. Okay. Okay. Looks good. The dragon blooded. She's getting real close. Real close. What? So, why do you guys not like us? Oh, he's he's headed there. Don't worry. He just hasn't known us very long. He doesn't trade with acquaintances. 60% is a coin flip in your mind. So. Yeah, but it's crazy. We've uh, we failed critical failure on a 50. Failed a 54 twice. And then we failed that 60 or whatever. Oh, was I not close enough? Got him anyway. Nice. So now we should be able to take the turtle gate. And then stop the flow of crap coming through there. I'm surprised I don't see the uh, Arcan. Not Arcan. Oh, my God. Zartan. What honor you do They're both the black, right? How can there be two of the blacks? Anyway. 
I'm surprised I don't see the Chaos Dwarves coming in up there at all. But they usually ally... Oh, look, it's the new Zinch hero. I wonder how he is. Exalted hero of Zinch. Uh-oh. Well, Mao Ying just got fed a bunch of levels. She has no army left, but... Doing good. Uh, I'm alright. Better better today than the rest of the week, that's for sure. Let's see. Yeah, the archers. And Malekith has already taken out Nehek. Sorcery through me. Leader of men. A celestial command. Mm -hmm. Ugh, swamps in that spot. A to think is never a moment wasted. What was the world like in the Celestial's time? Good question. Was You're going to have to ask someone else. But for dragons. All right, Gravitus. You I hung around and did basically nothing while Mao Ying almost... Was, oh, she managed to save her Sky Junk. And her dragon crossbowman. She lost all of her other stuff. Maybe she'll make a better army now. Let's take the turtle gate. Leadership plus seven. Leadership plus six. Enemy minus four. There we go. Good. We don't have any siege stuff, so we gotta wait at least a turn to take it. But that's all right. Uh move you a little bit closer and keep recruiting. Okay, Ink Boy, let's see what's happening up north here. Follow the wind. Really curious. Maybe we can find some more trade partners to increase mobility. Good. I desire their research. Hey, we stole some research. A poor weakness. Hooray! All right, get that to tier three, this to tier three. So in three turns, we'll be able to start making pretty decent, well-rounded tier three armies. Go, eat boy, go. It's on a sailing trip. Yeah, I usually wouldn't get that, but... Dinner. All right. Good timing. Let's do the intern here, and then I will go eat. And I really want to continue this. It's now getting into the juicy part where we're going to be going down into Lustria and seeing just how crazy things have gotten down there without, without us. My prediction is that Skulk and... Lord Skulk and Rakarth are taking over. I base that on literally nothing. <laughs> Maybe it's time to apply some thermal paste. Are you insinuating that you don't have any on there? No, you wouldn't even be on right now. Uh, Envy the Jealous thing for the three months. We watch it on YouTube for over a year. That's awesome. Yeah, thank you. Over a year. Defensive Alliance, sure. Hmm. So he's fighting the Blessed Dread. I don't need to see it. He's going to try to start paying us to fight the Blessed Dread, but we're going to deal with the gates up north first. Grimgore is uh, fighting Greasus now. Oh, uh, we're going to gonna end up being at war with him. Extra cargo for the money. Yep. All right. All right. Yeah, that is weird, yeah. Is Whatever they have, we have dragons. Does seem good? Windshaper. Fight in perfect harmony. What? I didn't move her that far with crap. I'll fight from the front. Your reign will end in blood. 
Yeah. Not my blood. Blood, though. Probably Your guaranteed, actually. All right. I am going to go eat dinner, and we will continue this probably earlier next week. I well, I sure hope so. Tomorrow is RimWorld. I'm going to be honest with you. I would rather play this tomorrow. Having fun, and I know it's just now getting into the real meat of this campaign. But we do have to uh, play the single-phase run tomorrow. We got to finish that up. Um, We are about to head through and take these guys out and then let me take a look here at how the hunts marshal is doing maybe we can get an idea what's going on down here let's get on with he's this. at war with the blood hall coven and to to. he's at wait a minute he's at war with uh, bretonian down here is that typical that the i kind of forgot about him bordaloo that typical that he's at war with marcus wolfhart i thought they would be it is I played it. I haven't played much in Lustre in a really long time. Not since they redid all the settlements and stuff, really. Master of the heavens. Huh. Interesting. Not what I would have expected. Sent by the celestial court. Yeah, there he is. Bow before the Train right 74. He's not doing like crazy well. Looks like they might be in sort of a stalemate. I stand ready. Hmm. God, the movement down here is so terrible. We're in. I have to find somebody else to entertain you at work. Yeah, I got some other Warhammer runs on uh, that I need to upload to the archive channel. There's like four or five hundred turn campaigns that are just on a hard drive. I need to upload. So, all right, that'll be it for this one so far, though. And yeah, we'll see what happens down here. I'm also curious. Hang on. So we have to do this. So I need to leave an army up here. I have no idea how strong this stuff is. But we'll find out next time. On Adam Ball Z. <laughs> no, now I'm reminded. For anyone that didn't hear, the creator of Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z passed away last night. He was 68. I wore my Vegeta shirt today in honor. But... Sad times, sad times. Oh, it was just announced last night. Gotcha. Publicly announced last night. Either way. I found out. All right, guys. Thank you for hanging out. Very much appreciate it. I'll be live tomorrow at either 10 or 11 a.m. Eastern time. I'll let you guys know in Discord, and I'll post it as a uh, scheduled stream on YouTube. We'll be back to the single phase run. I'm going to try to wrap the single phase run up over the weekend, so it'll probably be a long stream tomorrow and Sunday. I think the next Sunday after this is Rimian ship for March, I think. So we won't have as much time on uh, on the single phase for next week. So we'll try to wrap it up. We need to get some royal ranks tomorrow. Hopefully we don't get reset again. That run's been reset so many times. And then uh, Sunday, hopefully we'll do the royalty ending. We'll see though. Uh, as far as more Warhammer goes, if you haven't... So some people were looking for some runs and not being able to find them on the channel. They're under the live tab. I've tried to do my best to make playlists of everything and have the playlists on the main page of my YouTube page. But yeah, if you want any of these like long campaign, uh, Mortal Empires, legendary runs, whatever, that we're going to ABC or alphabetically, uh, they're all under the live tab. So just click on live or on the main page. They will not show up on videos. Like if you click on my channel, it a lot of times it just goes to videos and they are not videos because they were streams. Just kind of frustra frustrating. I wish you could tell YouTube where you want to send people when they click on your channel. But again, live tab or the home tab, which will have playlists and stuff. So anyway, thank you guys again for watching. Always appreciated. I'll see you in the morning.